the Schnow Trap. That's number 10, Tyshawn Robinson, AKA the Cheetah. He'll be taking the three on one return here this afternoon. And we will take a look live. This is the A7FL Games of the Week on Stadium. I'm Matt Ryan, joined by big Rob Fabian, a legend in on the field and becoming a legend in the broadcast booth. We went viral a couple days ago, buddy. Listen, that wasn't intentional, but hey, greatness greatness goes viral. I, I, I can't, <laughs> can't say too much about that one. I'm just here to work, man. Just here to have fun and enjoy the games. And Thank you. Thank you for joining us, Rob, and thank you for everyone Corey joining Tom. us this week. Our, our own Corey Hammond in action in Delaware at Abyssinio Stadium. Good luck to Corey out there in Delaware. He is in a knockout game himself. The heist will start the ball, start throwing off here. They, they, they won the toss. They will defer. And right now, running across here, we got the chain gang ready. I'm excited to see what the Snow Tribe do with the Snow Tribe formation. We're going to see that on the first drive, unless they score a touchdown here. That's what makes the A7 NFL different. We got a bunch of rules that differentiate us from traditional pro football. Starting off, no kicking, no punting. We have the three on one throw off both to start after a, after a score and to start the half and also in place of punts. We also have one and two point conversions. The ball gets past the 25 yard line. It's a live ball. He's Robinson. A lot of speed. He has a lot of speed. Hitting him with that husk, cuts it over. Gotta see some moves though, yeah. He has a lot of straightway speed. He's not a slow guy, but there's not a lot of hus hus going on yeah. in there. There's no cuts, there's no, and to be dangerous on the three on one, you have to be able to make at least the first guy miss. That's, those are effective guys on the three on one. And it will be a first and uh, first and ten for the Snow Tribe. And let's take a look at the starters for the Snow Tribe. And let's see, we've got this is the Snow Tribe <laughs> formation: two running backs, one wide receiver, and we will see four on the line. Kessler and Bowser will be at the tight end position. Schultz will be on the O line along with Michael Sims, and it will be Seth Batson and Lashawn Tells behind the metaphorical center. It'll be first and 10. The ball snapped. And that will be pushed up field in about a three yard gain. And it'll be second and 10. And again, it's Seth Batson at the quarterback position, AKA Little Boat. In the Snow Tribe, um, the Snow Tribe formation, it's virtually, it's a wildcat where most of these guys are athletes and they're they're going to be running a lot of sweeps, a lot of dives, a lot of misdirection because they can't really get an air attack going without a, a steady quarterback. And it will be second and about seven. And we'll see the two running backs here loading up on the line, the handoff and plowing through. The, the running back losing a glove on that play. And that is a run by number 32, Seth Batts and Little Boat, a player you claim, Rob, is highly underrated in the A7. Little Boat is very underrated. Little Boat, has, he found himself on like some not so great teams prior to being with this team, and he didn't get a chance to shine. Then he got on BIC. You have to, it, being a running back behind Courage is never gonna be no. easy. You can't sh outshine Courage, he's amazing. So. He never got an opportunity to really showcase his true skills, but on a team like this, he can really show what he's worth. And it'll be Turner under center. Three. There stays upright and loses the football, but will get to the first down. That turf monster grabbed his ankle so fast. Uh, the, <laughs> he wasn't going to go go Getting caddy shacked in front of God and everybody, and, and that will be Kennedy with the first down. And, and it'll Turner's be not Turner a bad party. player. Turner's actually a pretty good, he, well, he used to be a little quicker. He's a former wide receiver. Turner has burned a few people in this league so to see the turf monster get him here kind of sucks because he might have been able to open something up for the snow tribe and daryl daryl marshall the wide receiver unable to get the tackle on the play and it will be first down and the snap rolls out to his right looking for an option throws this one deep downfield caught Good job. Beautiful catch, beautiful throw, and a little bit of that energy there, trying to get the tackle, and that was Corin Klein, number 49, I am him, <laughs> with the reception. Listen, Corin gotta relax. That's his, that's his tagline, I am him? Yeah. That's impressive. I mean, 
Karan is a is a huge athlete. You may not look it on camera. Karan's about six five. Um, great hands, great field position. He can out jump a lot of players in this league. Karan is definitely one of those guys to worry about. An on the Anthony drive. Boyko with the tackle. Eleven twenty nine left to go. And an opportunity here for Turner. I like what I'm seeing from Schnotron today. And they're switching it up in variation of like a full house it formation. Is. And this is the Schnotron offense. And there's Ooh, a flag on the play, okay. illegal motion. That was on bad. That'll be on the offense. And a false start on the offense. And it will be first and 15. I'm liking this version of the Schnotron versus any other version that I've seen them from, you know, from prior weeks. This version of the Schnotron is showing us that they have an identity. Yeah. This is who they are. They're sticking with it. And they seem to be moving the ball better than they've moved it in any game prior. Even the wins. Yeah. Covington doesn't look like slouches. Number 39, I, I'm watching him. I'm <laughs> really watching him. Because a guy who could run through two people at the same time, then a third, and still stay on his feet, uh, he's... He, he has to show me something. There is some uh, some big, it, it is thick boy season for the Covington Heights. Shouts to Pedro. <laughs> oh, poor Pedro. Thick boy Pedro in uh, the building. It'll be, once again, that snow trap formation. Batson will kick out. Two wide receivers set. The snap. Turner will cut Somebody up field. Turner trying to use that speed and cannot mixtape himself out of that one. But it will be second down and a solid game there. And if, these, snow trap. and if these Ohio boys can play Iron Man football, which is what the Jersey guys are really used to with low numbers, everybody playing both sides, if they can play that at a high level, most teams won't be able to hang with them in the fourth quarter. They'll still have energy. This is nothing for them. They're just getting started. And a big run there. Some big solid run. offense here from the Snow Tribe. Impressive. Do you think that this defense, this offense has caught them on their back foot a little bit. Yes, that's, a, that's almost exactly what I think happens. If they watch film for Snow Tribe, this is not what they saw. Yeah. And the snap, and Batson will take this one. Big Ooh, block! Big block by Lau, number four. And that's the, that's the fullback we were talking about. That was a great block. And I've heard Lau off, the, off like, like a pulling guard or getting them from the fullback position will crack someone. And we just saw that there. Look how he took that man's chest. And you see that, Ooh, that first him. right off the break. And look who he got. Bam! 39, baby, man. He got 39, who's probably one of the, probably one of Covington's better players. A lot of speed, a lot of skill. Ma stays very low and just explodes through the guy. Like, that's impressive. And, and it kind of feels like, like f fighting George Foreman in the 70s. <laughs> a lot of power just grinding you, walking you down. Right. That's what I'm seeing right now. Pedro with the ball. Cutting to the outside, will not get the first down, but will get it to about the 10 yard line, which is exactly what you want. They are matriculating the ball downfield. The clock continues to run here. The only time the clock stops running is under two minutes in the second and the fourth quarter. This is a very different snow trial. Yeah, it's one that has their confidence and they're also not playing one against one of the most elite the team, offenses yeah, in the yeah, league. Right, 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 right. This is, this is a calm snow trial. This is a focused snow trial. Yeah. Uh, they're not putting too much pressure on one one player or one part of the game. They're actually doing their thing. And I'm, I'm very impressed. Well, they are your favorite team in the A7FL. So I, you know, I, gotta, I, I, I saw yeah, you sure, buying yeah. all that merch at <laughs> a7fl.com. I, I got a Batson I, oh, good stop. does not get the first down. But and there he is again, number 39. I'm he's telling a, you. He's a beast. I, I'm watching him. Because he, you know, he was one of those viral guys. I pay attention to the guys that get the most views. You know why? Because those. Oh wow, he was just very so quick, quick off the, the line. Edge. Wow, that was impressive. That was impressive. Shout out number twenty-three deal. though, Kevin Brosar Jr. You saw that off that snap. Definitely. Watch him coming off the edge. Twenty-three, just coming right in there, meeting the tackler and helping set up. Right. Good job on his part. And and again, I don't think. I don't think the heist came here unprepared. I just think this is an offense they haven't seen. Quarterback by committee, the snow, the snow formation. 
Schnow formation leading to Schnow yards, getting stopped and stifled. <laughs> Maybe a gain of one, and we've and seen it this. might have been the one that they needed. And we have saw this last week with the QC Crush getting inside their own five and not able and to convert. Not able to convert, which kills. It's fourth and one, and that kills an offense. Did we just find money on the field? Straight cash on <laughs> And it looked like it might be a first down. We're trying to get a call, the official ruling on the field going off of the chain gang. And it looks like they give him the first down, so it will okay. be first and goal. Okay. Ball placed at the nine-yard line. A very – That was uh, a tough two yards. Yeah. And that was very a very tough. New Jersey spot. <laughs> he got, they got the Jersey spot. First and goal. But look at the pressure. At edge. Look at the pressure here. Did he just wave at us? Yes, he did. The snap. Turner cuts out to his right, thrown into the dirt. And could have been, should have been intercepted. He, he but made, a little he, too low for number zero, yeah, Jesse Draz. He, he made the right throw there. Yeah. If he threw it any higher, 39 gets that, and he's off to the races. I Listen, you're going to hear me call his number a lot, a lot today. And, yeah, this, you know, Rob, this reminds us the A7 is not a pass-only league. It's fast, but you need to be able to defend the run, and we see, you know, a lot of the teams we've seen on the A7FL Game of the Week relying on the speed of their quarterbacks. Right. But Rahway, with might, what might be the deepest running back bench in out of the teams we've seen so far this season. I'm not going to lie. I think that is facts. Most most teams are not doing this. Most teams are not run heavy, run heavy. They pass, too. Yeah. It's just, I mean, we've seen them with one great completion, but this is a very run heavy offense. Here we go with the pass. The snap. Turner in trouble. Tries, he cuts up field, gets to the five, and will not get the touchdown. Are they going to give it to him? No, they call it about the one-yard line. And it will be second and goal. Clock running here, just about the five-minute mark. The Brandon Roy-esque moves and, and of these Turner. Are the, oh, great blocking, fellas. Um, these are the things I feel like are going to cost them later in the game. Not being able to convert something like that. And Co the Covington is kind of, you know, they're, they're pulling back a little bit. And you know Covington, because they, they, they're anticipating the right, pass. Right, right. But they're built to stop the run. There's no real option. You look at how l there's six in the box. Yeah, because everyone knows what's coming. And Draws playing safety up top. The hands off, and they knew what was coming, but they Could couldn't stop, stop it. it. Yeah, it is, Seth. Getting snowed <laughs> in. Seth Batson with the touchdown. You touchdown, Rahway. Okay, Seth. Little boat with his touchdown. I, Little I'm, boat again, docking in the Asbury Park Harbor. See it again here the on the confidence replay. Confidence on the run, the blocks, the it's it's a very new snow tribe. I'm I'm impressed. Yeah, it's a solid run. There's solid out line play. I'm very impressed. Do you think that Covington now seeing it for a whole drive as we see my doppelganger set up on the line of scrimmage? <laughs> when you when you're setting up for that, after you see it one time. Do you you can make, if Covington is a real football team, they can make the adjustments that they need to make and shut down everything that they see going on. It's not rocket science. These guys want to throw it, and they want to run the ball and throw it when they can. But they're looking for a run. You know, there's ways you can stop that in this league. And they're going for the one-point conversion, the snap. A lot of time, a lot of patience, and that one will be grounded in the dirt. But Rahway getting the ball first and striking first. Can the Covington Heist find their way back and get into the end zone? Or will the, the Rahway defense shut them down? We'll find out in just a moment. This is the A7FL Games of the Week on Stadium.
Welcome back to the A7FL live here on Stadium, the Rahway Snow Tribe. Leading the Covington Heist 6 0, and the Heist look like they need to make a call for help. Well, they can get the help from Cricket Wireless Ohio, the official mobile phone carrier of the A7FL in the A7FL Cincinnati Division. The A7FL gives you unlimited moves, just like Cricket Wireless gives you unlimited data, plus a great selection of top brand phones and straightforward service plans. So, whether you're in Cincinnati or anywhere else in Ohio, or maybe even in the rest of the United States, check out Cricket Wireless. Cricket Wireless, more free, more fun. Off of the violation, it will be Covington with the ball, cutting up field. Can he get, oh, and went a little too low there. too low, but that was, that was an impressive tackle, but he did make the first guy miss, and once again, in that three-on-one, the guy who can make the first guy miss is usually the better runner. And that was and Reggie I, Blocker with the tackle. Trey impressive. Dixon running that on the return. And let's take a look at the replay here, and then we'll introduce you to the Covington heist. Oh, that's, that's, excuse me. And if he didn't go that low there, he might have found a way to get Blocker he, he off might of him. He might have. And let's meet the Covington Heist for the first time on offense this Sunday afternoon. And we will see what they're able to do under center will be Daryl Marshall. He's joined by Seth Chambers. Wide receivers are Aubrey Harris, Harley Wolfenbarger. And then on the line, Josh Van Stein, Kevin Brosart Jr., and Hughes. And Hines, the snap into the first down, the ball thrown, and that one intended for number 31. I have a feeling that Covington has to shake off the butterflies. They yeah. understand that they're in New Jersey. New Jersey is a different... If you're watching and you play outside of New Jersey, it is very different when you come here and play against New Jersey. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure it's the same feeling when you play against Baltimore. These are seasoned players who've been here for a while. While you guys... You're the, the new kids. You're the new kids on the block. Don't be nervous. You have to come out here and do what you do best. If you don't, you know, it's going to be a long day for you. Boyko was the intended receiver on that play. It'll be second and 10. Covington Heist first time on the games of the week. Looking to clinch a playoff spot. The set of two wide receivers set. The toss, trying to cut up field, in trouble, pulls behind. Some great wherewithal, but losing himself yards and will not get back to the 50. And it looks like the ball might have come out on the, on the sideline. Now, again. Ball player was ruled down, so it'll be third down and a lot more than they intended. I mean, again, that works in, in Ohio. That works maybe in Florida. That toss won't work here. And you We've, see there, they, it just broke down. Before. Yeah, because they're used to people not being able to contain the edge. These defensive, these defenses in this league are contain heavy because of the running backs we face. Yeah. Greater running backs than him. him. Daryl Virgis, Courage, Courage Mozzie, these guys, they're edge monsters. If they get to that and edge also they've been over. playing this style of football For longer. For a long time. So that toss, you, that would have worked. 10 years ago, it's not working now. And Marshall will be set up at quarterback. The snap with time, cuts through and brought down! And it'll be third and about 14 now. After a loss of three, the tackle by number 11, Ruben Pierre. Heavy wake up call, heavy wake up call. You're not in Ohio anymore. This is, yeah, this ain't Tampa. This is not Orlando, this is this is where the game was born, and right. we'll see a, possibly a timeout here. Let's, and they will be throwing off here. They will give the ball up. That was fourth down. It'll be fourth down now. The Snow Tribe's rush was just too much for them. These guys were moving with them, but they were getting moved out the way. It looked like paper plates out there on the offensive line. And it'll be Robinson throwing off here. This is a completely different team seat that we've seen so far. From Snow Tribe, yeah. yeah. Uh, they're... they're they're imposing their will, and this is not a snow tribe I'm even used to seeing. And it will be fourth and 13. Ball will be thrown off from around the 50-yard line, which is where it's set, but he'll throw it, launches it. To him? 45, and they will give it to Robinson. This is interesting. Trusting their defenders, and Robinson greases past another, but stopped and stifled. Oh. The ball comes out, but they're checking they on him. It down? They will rule the ball down. They will rule play down. It was out of bounds. There's not enough hus-hus in that. Nope. There was a huh. <laughs> huh. 
but we'll see if the Snow Tribe can continue to grind the clock here. They are up six to nothing. Let's see again on the replay, Rob. Yeah, not enough hustle -huss in that board. Just, huh. And then he runs out. Oh my. And that, yeah, that could have been a bad that ending. That would have cost them. They got these. The Covington has to get these big game jitters out. I just, I feel like that's what it is. Yeah. Like, it's like, oh man, we're here. We might be tired. Maybe there's a little. I didn't, they didn't fly here. So they yeah. a little car lag. I, I don't know. They gotta, they gotta wake they up. They looked refreshed when they got on the field. They just might have got caught on their heels. But it's a long way to go, and it's only six and there nothing. It is. There it is. Like I said, watch that edge. Number thirty nine is not here to play. He's here. He's and here to make a statement. And that set up the rest of that play. Facts. Because he came in just colliding into the, the the defender off the line, the blocker off the line. And then they had to move the entire play to the right. left and just slam the door on it. Because what I'm thinking is back in Ohio, the teams he's played, he's usually, he's a bigger guy. Yeah. So he's usually bigger and stronger than those guys coming out the backfield. Not today, clearly. So he's now making this guy miss to go make the play. He, he's a smart football player. I just want to see how effective his style of play is against a New Jersey team. And John Kessler, the joker and tight end, two running backs, four four on the line and the quarterback Turner will take it up field he will get a help on the block but a flag on the play and this one might be walked back it could have been third and one but it's probably gonna be second and a lot more oh, I'm, I'm not I'm not seeing what the flag was holding holding on the offense okay so we bring it all that back and I don't think snow Trop could afford these types of penalties no. this early I know it's six zero I know it's anybody's game It'll second be second and 18, and 18 thanks to game. our crack team, including oh, super producer Alex Boom Boom Soberman joining us here in Asbury Park and John Schiavone on the other side of the metaphorical class, making sure we sound good. It's going to be a long day if they let these Covington boys get started. Man. Yeah, it's it, if they find the right way to just drill into them, and this will probably take us to the second quarter. And so far, Rahway, Dominating, not only running the ball, but dominating the time of possession. And we will take a brief timeout here as we go into the second quarter. At the end of 115 minutes, our first 15 minutes, it's six to nothing, Rahway. The Covington Heights, have they made this trip into dangerous enemy territory, or will they find a way to turn it around and go back to Ohio, go back to Kentucky with a win and also a spot in the playoffs? It's Knockout Sunday. We'll have more for you on the other side of this break. This is the A7FL Games of the Week on Stadium.
We are back here live. It's the A7FL Games of the Week as the Covington Heist face off against the Rahway Snow Tribe. The Rahway Snow Tribe controlled Rob Fabian the entire first quarter with the limited exception of a minuscule drive, a three and out right. drive from the Covington Heist. Right. And again, I, I don't know if it's first big game jitters. This isn't their first game, but again, this is their first jersey game. First time they're on the national spotlight. Let's see if they can show up. And you see again Seth Chambers keeping an eye on the quarterback. He will run down field and he will get the ball knocked out, but it will get knocked out at the 30 yard line. And it'll be third down for Rahway. Rahway really impressive here so far. They are, I mean, they're controlling the game. They're on the ground, they're, they're taking, they're killing the clock. And if that is part of their like game plan, to kill the clock, hold the ball all game to the point where by the time the Covington get the ball, you can't score 12 points in, in two minutes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you might not be able to do that. They might not have the talent to do that. Yeah, but it is a 60-minute game, and we are just over 15 minutes past, mo you know, past of it. So we got a long way to go for both of these teams. Definitely. I just don't, I just don't want Snow Tribe to get too comfortable with a small lead like this yeah. and let Covington wake up. And again, player to watch for me on Covington right now is Seth Chambers, number 39. And now he there, comes oh in like God. a beast. Listen, the listen, ball listen, comes listen, loose. Listen, listen, am I Nostradamus? Or you am you I called that one, bro. <laughs> well, I want to see on, that again. Don't look at he, the like that, young man. Who are you looking at? I, I, I gave you a shout out. He's the player to watch. He, He's the player to watch. He Naruto ran at him. He, really he hit him with the Naruto run. Please, Take a look at that. Just coming right. Bam. Yeah, that, he's too little. That's yeah. That man's too little back there to do anything with him. He's fast. Yeah, that was number three, giving up that one. Yeah. That's Seth Chambers, man. I'm telling you, that's the player to watch. And that was a three and out. That is way better. Than, like, what did we say? Now they're more comfortable. Yep. Now Seth is in and his that, But that false start really helped him out. Killed him, yeah. Like, like we said, yeah. we called that too. But again, if you let these Covington boys feel it out and realize, hey, you guys aren't that tough. This is just football. You might have yourself a problem. And it will be Trey Dixon returning, and this one will go out of bounds. Out of bounds. And that will be at the 32-yard line. And a really good opportunity there for Covington on mm -hmm. defense. You know, even if they – I don't know if they get – the the yard the eight yards if the, that penalty doesn't happen if it doesn't happen right 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 but it does stifle their momentum and now with 13 19 left to go in the first and this in the first half Covington can meticulate a drive there here they can put something together that offensive line of Covington has to keep it together has to work together move those feet understand you're dealing with definite big athletes on the other side these are, uh, the defensive line is a bunch of athletic guys they, they might be yeah. used to just one guy being athletic like they have right here with Seth Chambers but it, most of them are athletic so they have to put their feet under them and really get to and, block and we guys. saw the elements of this when the snow tribe played the BIC and they were right. pressuring Sterry Codrington right so they definitely can come with pressure Marshall on the screen missed time that intended for number 35 Anthony Boyko they went to him twice, twice. on back to back the start of back to back drives I'm I, starting to feel like the quarterback has a plan yeah like, in his mind, I'm starting the offense like this. He's scripting it. He's scripting it. And if you're scripting it, I don't think the A7 works that way. I As think you got to write player. in pencil, not in pen. Not in pen. You have to be able to erase on the fly and be able to create a play out of nothing. He he went, looked, and like, this is my guy. Just can't do that. No. You have to survey the field, no matter how fast the pressure's coming. You know, that's not great quarterback, quarterback play from him. And uh, it'll be second and ten. He's throwing out of fear. I don't yeah, a lot of a lot of pressure coming in from this Snow Tribe defense. We talked about it earlier when we saw them. Also, a really young team, Marshall, yeah. a young guy, and he'll do a quarterback keeper. He'll try to set up the sideline, and he will get dragged a few yards, and it'll be third down. And Marshall making the most out of a bad situation. We've only seen them throw twice so far. Aren't impressive throws. You've seen a few runs, but the runs aren't impressive either. I just think from what they're used to, it's a lot of outside runs. It's a lot of, hey, the edge is, the edge is there. Let's just take it. But to be very honest with you, you're not going to get that here. No, and Hammond, not or, Corey. Corey's brother. <laughs> Ohio Hammond. Peyton Hyman, Hammond. <laughs> Peyton Hammond. 
which could be one of the name of, of Corey's 6,322 children. Yes, it could be. This is Corey's oldest son, Peyton Henry, <laughs> playing tight end for the Covington Ice. And it will be set up to the right is Seth they Chambers. They need to convert this thing. And, and we'll throw it at Chambers. Look who they're going to. Oh, going slip to. slide. Oh, no. no. I can't, cannot stop. Won't I'm stop. Handy, sir. The high stealing. They will be rhyming and a stealing Ladies like the Beastie Boys touchdown, Covington. I'm telling you, guys, Seth Chambers is that guy right now. Five tackles, a sack, Listen, and a touchdown. And a touchdown. I hope he's on your fantasy team because he just scored your shit ton of points. And then you that's throw great, it here. That's great. And and how do you beat an overzealous defense? You can't. You can't. If, if they jump the gun and they leave you one in space. That's it. They can't cover him. Yeah. So you have to start using him the best way you can. You can't just, you know, hold him in the back with tosses. Get him out there. Let him create plays. He looks like a great playmaker. And and bang, bang, two. Three-play drive, completely the opposite of Rahway. That's impressive. And going for one here. Two wide receivers set. And that will be Chambers set up to the left. Three on the line. A little bit. Watch out for the pressure from the right-hand side of your screen. He'll cut up field, and he will get smothered. He will get covered. And Covington, the latest location of the Waffle House defense, is Rahway will put a stop to it with 10.59 left to play. But the Rahway Snow Tribe not able to convert on their second drive of the afternoon. But Covington finding a way into the end zone as Seth Chambers showing up and showing out today. And we'll see here what happened on that play. Honestly, and not if he lets if he lets Seth Chambers... Roll out still. He's open again for the same exact play. It's open. This is a very aggressive D-line. It is, and we'll see what Covington can do on the D-line with Chambers playing on the other side of the ball. Will Covington keep this momentum going, or will Rawway find a way to stop it? We'll see on the other side here on Stadium. Seth Chambers getting 63 yards from the to the house from Daryl Marshall, an MVP level play, and an MVP an MVP season. Or if you're an MVP dad, you know what you need. You need a ring to show it off. How impressive you are! If you want to have an MVP ring or an MVP year, go to our friends at Herf Jones. Go to HerfJones.com, the official trophy, championship ring, and MVP ring provider of the A7FL. Herf Jones, a champion, has a ring to it. And Hearn Rawway will throw, get this one here, and it is Robinson streaking down the sideline, and he tried to put his hands right in the face hands of Mick Roll. Yeah, you can't do that in this league. You can't put your hands directly in someone's face. Maybe under the neck, in the chest area for an actual stiff arm, but hands to the face, no. And that's he, not it. Mick Kroll, not Nick Kroll. And it'll be hands to the face on offense, and that will start them in a worse position and than they need to be and it's those little mistakes and again i was just gonna say that i know they're giving you know there's you know, handshakes and good job man you know it's a tough play but little plays like that are gonna set them up for covington to get another turnover the covington made them go three and out yeah they made them go three and out and then chambers capitalized on it chambers helped with the three and out and because you guys had a penalty you're going right back to it we have to be more disciplined than that. So after the flag, it'll be first and 10. The ball will be placed on the 20-yard line. And not how you want to start a drive. The 20, the ball has to get at least to the 25. So right. if you're starting underneath the 25-yard line, it's you know you dunked up. Good. Yeah, at early disadvantage. But it will be first and 10. 
for the Snow Tribe, and they will load up in the Snow Tribe formation. And I will be Batson cutting yeah. up the sideline. Pay attention. They're big targeting Chambers right now yeah. because Chambers is that guy. So they're sending any and everyone at him. Pedro just went at him. So now he's jarring, maybe trying to get him out the game. Well, let's take a look at this replay again. And you, you, you pointed See out that? there, Corey, bang, just setting him up that quick push. Yeah. And yeah, I, they are trying to get they're into trying, the young, yeah. they're trying to get into that young man's kitchen. I don't know if it'll work. I, I, I don't, I don't know if they want to, quote unquote, upset him in a football sense because he might kick up and be, get better. Yeah. As the game goes on, you can't block him for four quarters straight. And, I highly doubt it. And it'll be second and five. Load up again in the Snow Tribe formation, a variation of a full house formation for you Madden fans. And Batson will cut up the near sideline, go downfield, get the first well, down, that's and a more. Very impressive run. If I am Snow Tribe, I am not running it anywhere Chambers is. Yeah, you are running opposite it opposite side of yeah, Chambers. Opposite side every time. Every time. Because either side, there's no weak side. No. It's the Chambers side or and the, the, and the side. weak side. The like, weak the weak side, side is the side Chambers isn't on. Yeah. Whichever and side Chambers isn't on is the weak side. As you can see, the other play when Chambers was blocked, they, they didn't get this. No. Chambers wasn't blocked. He wasn't on this side. We we're talking 15-yard, 15, 16-yard 15, six, game. And do you think the issue would be on that run there from Batson? He wasn't able to turn in at any point. He might have saw the blocker coming to him from the right, right side. Right, right. But if he was able to turn in and cut up field. And we're talking a quicker touchdown. Yeah. But I, I think I don't think that's their game plan. I think they want to chip things down. First and, and this 10. is smart. This is smart from them with block. And look who makes the tackle. Oh, look who makes what the tackle. A tackle though. Look who makes the tackle, guys. I'm telling this is not listen, this isn't rocket science. Chambers is moving from that DN position to that hybrid linebacker, and he's going to meet them at each each cross. And and a little bit of the ish talking there between both sides. Yeah. And take, let's take, take a, look a look again on the replay. Take a look. Crossing the Rubicon. Sorry. Nobody blocked him. Nope. You can't block him off the run. He's Batson looked like he was running for the subway, and Chambers was the door, and he look, missed look his train. Chambers. Look at Chambers. Perfect read. Great and then step. there it is. Bam! That's it. Great step. That kid's good. Stand he clear. He hit behind the D lineman and made the hit. He, he set a screen. He got, <laughs> he he, they he set did. a screen. They stocked and maloned it. And it will be second and six. Cutting up field, the big man. And a, what a Ooh, block! A block. <laughs> but there's Chambers again. <laughs> Chambers hitting his teammate and Pedro. And that was Draws helping on the tackle. And again, I am loving the snow formation. I'm not hating on it whatsoever. I, I'm actually enjoying it. Can they keep this up for four quarters? And we'll, let's see again on that, that block, block setting Lyle, it up. Man. That was a great block. And just to talk about the difference in running here, I believe the wow. Snow Tribe have already exceeded the 36 yards rushing they had in total in the first half across the drive and a half. <laughs> that they did, man. And in that the first quarter, the heist only had two yards, and that came off of a rush. Right. I think both of these teams are finding a pocket. You saw number 39, Seth Chambers. Yeah. Star-making performance here. If he's able to keep up that level of consistency, Alfaro will set up as a, a tight end. Oh, pardon me, that's Kessler. All right, another tackle. I'm, I'm telling you, you won't see a tackle from Covington today that doesn't have Chambers involved. And that was Biggest Darius. problem is because Chambers is involved, that can also mean can Chambers keep up that level of play, saving his team's defense every play, then going on offense to score. Can he do that for four quarters without getting tired, and without sitting on the sideline? You, you know, yeah. that's risky too. And it looks like a timeout was called on the field. And it'll be first and 10, 646 left to play. Gotta wonder if Covington was the one who called that timeout. And Can't overuse your star players. Refs, refs? Official timeout. <laughs> official timeout. We'll wait. We'll try to see if that's a confirmation and possibly an injury timeout. But yeah, got a guy limping. Yeah. yeah, he's limping. Yeah. We'll have a player down here for the heist. Got up, got up on his own. Yeah, so. and and respect from both sides there. Absolutely. Kessler, John Kessler, kind of the the leader of this team. A veteran at that. John Kessler has been on some very good teams in this league. I've had a few battles with John Kessler. Clearly, I won. But, um, John <laughs> wow. <Kessler laughs> wow. Ghost, I love you, uh, The, the but, real um, victory. The real uh, victory is you're sitting next to me <laughs> here. Right, there we go. Enjoying oh. the fruits of retirement. <laughs> and it will be Darius Hype Pearson who was on that run. He is under center. And they will run the Snow Tribe formation. Four in the box. And the snap. 
cut up field, stop Steinfeld, and that will be a first down at the 25 yard line. And we've got a rowdy bunch of fans here in Asbury Park <laughs> this afternoon. And they yeah, are- Impressive run by Darius, but Darius is one of the most underrated running backs in this league. I, I've seen Darius do a lot of amazing things. Chambers is, is off of that play because he's more focused on the block, which he crushed, by yeah. the way. He was more focused on the block than the tackle. Chambers, whatever he decides to put his mind to today, he's going to do. And it will be first down, first and 10. The ball's placed on the 25-yard line. And both of these teams have made it happen with the run, but the, the Covington heist have that passing play, and I think that's going to serve them well. And here's Hype Pearson again, and they, you, and they find it into the end zone. There he is slicing right through it. Get hype for that one. Touchdown, Rahway. Second straight running right touchdown of the afternoon for the Snow Tribe. Again, very underrated running back. Darius is a tough one. I've seen him take big teams to big games and do this exact thing. And then just no need for the hus hus. No, no, just no found, hus. He's just found the lane right up like there. A freight train going through there. These guys don't have any hus hus, man. You might not get a hus hus from me today. <laughs> These guys looking very shh shh shh. They don't look too hus hus. Is that is that the non-union equivalent yeah, of the hus hus? Like, I don't know. It got to be one of those sounds. These guys look like bowling balls. I don't know. And it'll be a one-point attempt here. 12 to 6 your score. 541 left to go, but so we said the heist, they can break it off with one play. Off, yeah. And the heist may not be as one-dimensional as Rahway. We saw yeah. Rahway get stopped on their second drive. But what's going to be the big concern I mean, here? Are they not as one-dimensional? Well, they, they might be able to break it up with a run, and now a throw, and that one caught. caught, caught. 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 And they will give it to him, and yeah, now oh, <laughs> tucking in for a long summer's nap. Oh, and that man. will give them a seven-point lead. That reception by number 43, Adrian Lambrick. That's Koran, Koran, Koran. sorry, Koran with the catch. But let's see here again on the replay, dropping it right in there. And it looks like he cradled it and kept it. Slept on it. <laughs> that was Koran Klein with the reception. Again, another, another elite player hiding it. Snow tribe. But will Covington be able to answer back? Will Seth Chambers be able to get back into the end zone? And when we're in the middle of the second quarter, your score, the Snow Tribe 13, the high six. This is the A7FL on Stadium. want to own a team in the A7FL. I know I do, Rob. I, I definitely do. Yeah, but you know what? You can, by becoming a division owner, learn how you can be the next Mark Cuban, the next Jerry Jones, the next owner of a division in the A7FL at a7fl.com slash owners. Matt Ryan joined by Big Rob Fabian here. The Snow Tribe off the back of Darius Hype Pearson got into the end zone. This ball will be thrown up into the air by Shane Turner. And now an opportunity Huss. for oh, a little Huss. bit of Huss. Huss. Hussin again. <laughs> All right. We saw two Husses today. That's, that's yeah. over the line. That's two, the, two quick Husses. Take the over on the Husses. <laughs> and it will be first and 10. That one by Seth Chambers. Chambers will come off the field. Oh, no, that wasn't, that no, wasn't not, Chambers. Not Chambers. Huss, there's one Huss, second Huss. That was and number, made the first two guys miss. It was Dre Dixon, pardon me. First two guys miss. Then you could kick up that speed and really be a threat on that three-on-one. Dixon, you got to wonder when you're a returner. 
a natural returner in right. this league, like a Marcellus Pack. Yeah. How much of your energy you're putting into that? Because you also play wide receiver, wide receiver running safety, back, quarterback. Running, right. So how how do you distribute your energy that effectively across you know, playing so many different roles you know on the team? crazy? That three on one is so important because it's an untimed down. Yeah. That you might as well give your all there, take a break and come back. And it will be Marshall set up with Chambers to his left. Two wide receivers, three on the line. Let's see if Marshall has figured this out. I'm, I want to see him do well. But I haven't seen too much from him. The handoff. Okay, a delay, a delayed one. And that'll be a gain okay, of about okay. two and a sea of white looking like a blizzard. And it will be second down. Snow Triumph doing some solid defense there. The tackle Again, by a Ruben very Pierre. Solid D line. You're not gonna. I mean, they put pressure on BIC. Look at how. That's a very solid D line. But, but do you think that when they open up the door like this, are they trying to okie doke the Snow Tribe to set up for that long pass play? I, I feel like that's a possibility because the Snow Tribe up front is very aggressive. If they continue with that aggression, look, they're excited about this. If they continue with that aggression, they're going to bite down on something that's not there. And, and, we, and, and the six. Snow Tribe have two wins on the season against right. the Silk City Animals. They're in the top four of their division, but this is a knockout game. This is a playoff team yeah, game for both four. of these teams. It's a play-in game ostensibly. The snap, not a lot of time. He's going to have to carry it. Solid stiff on finds his way up field and will get it to about the decent, decent run. 44. So it'll be third and about five, maybe third and about four. I think Marshall needs to get a lot more comfortable. It's, it, it's going to be on him. It's going to be on him. The, the line is blocking okay. Only one guy was in his face. The line is doing decent. You have a great running back. I don't know what your receivers can do because you haven't been able to give them the ball. But I, I also just seen once Marshall tucks that ball, he's not looking to throw it on the run. No. <coughs> It'll be third and four, 325 left to go in the first half. Matt Ryan joined by Big Rob Fabian. It's the A7 NFL Games of the Week on Stadium. And if you haven't followed us across social media yet, what's wrong with you? Miss all these, missing all these highlights, missing all these cool moments. Search A7 NFL against, across your favorite social media platforms and join us and join the future of football. The snap oh on third God. down, okay. he keeps it, goes right down Broadway, gets stopped at the 45. Fourth and, and one. I, I go for it. I would go for it. And Matt, I'm gonna be honest with you, the play they just ran, I felt like Corey. I seen the play, they just gave the ball to the wrong person. Have that receiver crack down mm. on that edge and put your running back, Chambers, one-on-one -on -one with the corner? Are you kidding me? Do you know what that's going to look like? It could also be a situation where if it's set up a bang-bang play, they're thinking he might have enough, the quarterback might have enough time to cut inside, to cut inside. and find the edge because it's only four, three yards. They, uh, pardon me, four yards. They got three of it. It'll be fourth and one. And now they're bringing 24 down on the line. Set up. To block number 30. Check the edge here. Three coming off the edge. The quarterback will keep it. He will cut up field. He will get there. Good job. Flag, but it looks like there might be hands to the face. Accidental, if anything. That's right. Marshall's getting very comfortable. And that's what they that's what the Covington Heights need. You can't have your quarterback, your starting quarterback, scared or nervous or having the jitters throwing up on the field. Let's see here on the replay. Ooh. Cutting up field and just uh, and it's not necessarily what you want to see. Right. But I'm not sure what what, what it, it might have been illegal hands to the face. We saw the flag. Been, we accidental. Don't, yeah. uh, right, like you said, it was definitely accidental. But it right, will, they yeah. will, that will necessitate a throw off as it will be fourth and six, now, five yard penalty. Off that mistake, I still think they're walking off of this drive confident because yeah. they actually got that first down. They're going to walk off this drive very confident. Yeah. And Draws will have the ball. He'll throw it off for Covington. Looking like a young John Deli. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know my A7 like guys that are watching right now. You know this guy looks like John Deli, man. Shouts to John Deli, longtime friend, great vet. And a oh. solid throw. It will get to the 30, about the 28-yard line. Well, and the awesome. Sheena Robinson on the untimed down, setting up the Snow Tribe really well at the 49-yard line. And Robinson feeling himself, and it was a solid run back here, and it will be first and ten for the Snow Tribe. I don't think Covington knows that they can throw it out of bounds. Or it is a 22-yard return. I, I think they were just trying to see if, if they, they would, the ball back? yeah, if they could set it up or just try to make. They trusted their defense, and it, at the two-minute warning, the Rawway Snow Tribe 
walked in here and they had, they started with the ball. They'll look to end the first half with the ball. Will they find another way to the end zone? It's 13 to six, the Rahway Snow Tribe in the lead. We'll see what happens on the other side of this one. After ending a two-game losing streak against the East Orange Renegades at Patterson, you hope lightning strikes twice as both teams face off for a chance to face the Trenton BIC in next week's North Region title game. Find out who will get the dub at 4 p.m. live right here on Stadium. But before we get to that one, we've got to get through this one. The Covington Heights down to the Rahway Snow Tribe. 13 to six at the two minute warning. The Snow Tribe with the ball started off the, with the, started off the game with the ball, Big Rob Fabian. Right, right. What, if you're, if you're the Covington Heights right now, are you just managing to make stops here? Are you looking to keep them in bounds? Are you just trying to hope that this two minutes keep, goes by so you can get the ball back? Keep them in bounds, try to get a turnover here, keep Chambers in the middle of the defense so he can move. They're not gonna be able to throw the ball for real. Turner, just looking to prove you wrong, throws it, caught! Still in bounds, they wanna keep him in bounds, and there's a great tackle by number 39, Seth Chambers. So Chambers' only weakness is he's, he can't read coverage because that's a, a wide open runner. The running back, if they show us a replay, the running back was open his entire route. And look, 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 open, 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 open. He's been open that entire time. Yeah, he's There's got nothing but time. Yeah. They're playing ostensibly a, a, a spy. They're just waiting to see if he does right. anything. And they have to have someone covering that running back out of the backfield. And it'll be second down. And Snow Tribe calling their first time out. And at 142 left to play, the Snow Tribe feeling really good about themselves using as that timeout. As they should. <laughs> Was that timeout, you think, just to give them give them some to make the most of the clock? I think so. Give you, give that guys a little bit of rest. Again, running back is wide open. And they're staying Ooh. in bounds. Ball almost comes loose, and there again, all over the field is Seth Chambers, and he gets a little help from the big man, Josh Van Strine. And, and I think that's key too. If they keep if they can keep the ball in Turner's hands, you can, you know, there's a chance. There's always a chance. There's a chance. And it'll be second and three. Let's see on the replay again. Just trying to cut inside. Great job on the blocking Ooh. on the outside. That ball almost came out, man. That's a dangerous game when you're running it as the quarterback and you kind of keep that pliability. Oh Takes it goodness. to the house! Turner with the throw. I'm telling you right now, no one watching, including me, thought that he could make a throw like that. That, that was, was impressive. That was the best throw of the day, dropping it right into the pocket of the wide receiver. 
What a play there Very and get, make it a two score lead now. The heist will get the ball back and get the ball to half. So there's a lot of football left, but that's, a beautiful setup, a beautiful play. That one caught by number three. That's definitely communication from Turner to the receiver directly. Hey Turner, I can burn this kid. That's what was said. Because Turner didn't even see the break yet and threw it up. And you see the defender, He's furious. So I have not seen anybody that mad since, well, me about <laughs> three hours ago when I realized I left my shirt at home and you I had to look, go to a Target. But you look great, man. Thank you. Thank you. You're a sweetie, Rob. And they're going to go for two here after making the one-point conversion on their last drive, trying to make it 21-6. to six. The snap rolls out to his right. In trouble, throws this one up, and some solid defense there by Draws. Right. They're, they're learning, they're learning. They're putting their better players around. I, I saw a lot of pointing and directing. They're doing the right things. And yeah, Ch Chambers sat there in the middle and set the defense up, and of course nothing happened for the offense on this one. But if they can do that the second half, this is a very, very different game. It's about and the with, adjustments. And with a minute two left to play, and you can see this, it was a muggy day. We had a fog advisory right, at the start of the day. Did. And it has done a lot of just a quick change here as we see number 31, Dre Dixon. Burn. Let's see this play Straight again. Burn. Oh, he was burned. Oh, that was 35 burned getting burned. Anthony Boyko, the guy who got, who was targeted on the first two plays of back-to-back -back drives. Yeah, maybe that's why. <laughs> Maybe that's why he wasn't able to get anything. He he got cooked. Yeah, he got, yeah, and Boyko preparing well. here on this untimed down. This is a dangerous game it, right now for is, the Snow Tribe. It is. It, and the ball is up on an untimed down, and you're down by this much. Do you just do you try to get it into the end zone? But then I you're giving the, the, the ball back to a team that just scored on you. And Dixon smothered, covered, brought down at the twenty, not where you want to be. By a, guy, a gentleman named Uncle D. That was, uh, sorry, I just had it here. That was Uncle D. <laughs> yes, Uncle D with <laughs> the stop. Back in his jersey, that's nasty. Right? <laughs> Uncle D, I don't, I don't even want I believe that's know. Reggie Blocker, Uncle B. <laughs> Uncle B? Uncle B. Yeah, Look Reggie like Blocker with the stop. <laughs> Uncle B. That sounds let's like a see. show you'd watch on the CW. Well, probably. Like, it's like hey right guys, Uncle B is on. Yeah. All right, cool, let's watch it. It's about an uncle who has to take care of a family, <laughs> family after a tragic a amusement right. park accident. See, yeah, we get no it. one died. It was just a tragic, tragic. incident at an amusement park. <laughs> but it will be first and ten for the heist, looking to avoid tragedy here as they travel up to the northeast for the first time after playing their games in Cincinnati and playing against some of the teams in the Florida division. We have highlights of the A7FL Florida Championship. We'll run those through you at halftime. And it'll be first and ten. Marshall under center, not a lot of time. Ooh. Swatted at the line, and again, the Great. third straight drive, Rob, and that was the swat down by number 56, Hashan Fullwood. They've gone to that quick out to the left. The first, th uh, every Chambers, drive they've man. had has started off with that quick to the left. Look at it, Chambers goes out, he's covered, but he's ready for it because he knows that's your star player. He knows that's where you're going. Didn't even give him a quick pump fake. Marshall has to show more QB chops in these situations. And and it's one of those things to where he, like he's converting to the position. Right. And we saw that Sterry Codrington was a natural quarterback in high school, right. transitioned in college, and then corner and came right back home and he gets it. But right now we have to see the same thing from this guy. Second and ten. Not a lot of time. Throws oh. a time deep. Caught. Oh my. Caught no, rolls so through. But cannot stay up. Trey Dixon. Marshall. It is Trey Day. Marshall, what a throw, my God. This is, that was an impressive throw. That's the white suit Yakuza moment. You're just waiting for it, waiting <laughs> for it. I'm waiting for it. And when you least expect it, dropping a dime on them. Not out of bounds, but they probably called they probably the time, called a timeout yeah. called. Let's see this Take one again, Rob. Patient in the pocket, he's surveying the field. Maybe a little holding. 44 had, a, had his hands up in the jersey. He was doing an inspection, but take a look at this catch. And they were practicing. The, 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 during the, before the game, they were practicing for situations just like this to find that seam in between the defender and, and Dixon. Uh, mm. And they found it. They found that perfect spot. And he's an undersized receiver, Dixon. Very he's under six feet. Marshall put it. Only just way he right there. It. He found the home for it. 
and was able to drive it right into the That's pocket. That's impressive. If Covington can continue with plays like this, I, I want you to see how poised Marshall looks. Great blocking, poised, looking at it, looking at it, looking for it, sees it, and lets that thing go. And, and he trusted his receiver, found the ability. He knew he needed time. As soon as they opened up the field for him a little bit, and that will be Chambers set up to the right, of the quarterback, Marshall. And Marshall there will go, go with Marshall. it. Marshall there will cut up Mills. Get the first there down and go, ball. Marshall. Gets it Let's to the go, end Marshall. zone. Go, Mitchell. Welcome, yeah, Marshall. Welcome, Marshall. my boy. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. Marshall's confidence, along with the play of his running back, Chambers. This is a different game. We cannot sleep on Covington. They came. Hit him with that pie gow. Set him up, it. knock Listen, him down. Knock him down. I love it. I love it. Gonna I keep him it. guessing, Daryl Marshall. Welcome to the A7FL touchdown, it. Covington. I love it. Uh, and like I said earlier, without your quarterback, Marshall came in here timid. Yeah. This is not how he looked first quarter. Let's break it down Check here. Check this out. Great Just blocking. Bye cut, bye. Cut right up field. Found it. Oh, what a block to the side. He got crushed. <laughs> he spin dashed into him. Oh, Yo, Sam, our social side. media guy. Listen, get the, the Sonic, Sonic rings. Point. Get the rings. Sonic rings Knock on that Sonic one, bro. Rings out of that guy. <laughs> and we're going to go for two points here to try to make this one a five point Ooh. game to snap. The flame, oh, the rainbow. Confidence. Caught the he's, he's, he's here. Did he, did he get did it? He, did he, did he, he get it? it? They gave it to him. Ladies and gentlemen, Marshall has arrived. Wow. I was Dar waiting for him. Daryl Marshall. Wow. He was looking off defenders on that. Just Marshall's here. A, he, uh, this is a force to be reckoned with in the oh, A7 man. FL, and it looks like Aubrey Harris Oof. was the receiver on that play. Right, I think we talked about this earlier, man. They, this game's this not is a must-win game for the heist. This is a must-win game. Look at, look at Just oh, goodness. pop, fly, rainbow, and they've been practicing catches like that all afternoon. And maybe in the huddle somebody screamed, hey, man, let's do what we practice. He said, <laughs> yes, let's do it. Like it, and, it, and there is a man Marshall, who is, man. and you can argue Oof. right now, the most valuable players on the field are oh, Daryl Marshall, Marshall and, and Seth, Seth Chambers. Chambers. And that's what you need, your running back and your quarterback. Yeah. We're looking live here at Asbury Listen, Park Stadium, a beautiful okay. day. Okay. Hey, the clouds have lifted, the clouds have parted, right. and the sun is shining on the it's Rahway a sideline. a beautiful day in Asbury. They, these guys better not sleep on Covington. Go off, here we go. Robinson will return this one again. From the he needs five, to hold on to the ball 15 here. 15-yard line. Hold on to the ball, Cheetah. He cuts through. Uh -oh. The Cheetah is bounced. Uh -oh. The Cheetah sees the end zone. Chasing him down is Dixon. Uh, Dixon can't catch him. Dixon. Wave by by the untimed down strikes again. Rawway with the sixer. There touchdown. They play again. Oh, Covington. they're bringing that one back. No way. They're bringing that one back. He went out of bounds at the, the 15. Celebration? He got caught on the oh, silly. Oh, man. They're checking the celebration. What a knucklehead if that's the case. Let's Did he hustle? He hustles he hus hus inside. Oh, yeah, and let's just watch. Nice. It's the, it's the, it's the hash line. It is the hash mark. If he gets it, oh, oh and he's out of bounds inside the 15. He's oh, so he caught bloody. him at the 17-yard line. That what would be a, placed at the 17. If I'm his coach, he does not touch it. That that the field again. Oh. He does not touch the field again. That is the listen. lack of awareness oh, on that man. play. Act and like that, you've been and, here and that's what the A7FL. That the so many things it they're showing why excited, the A7FL yeah. is different. That three-on-one throw-off, the untimed down, and then the playing inside that hash mark. Right, playing man. hash mark to hash mark. The snap, the throw, trying to get some redemption here. Tipped yeah. up, and that'll be second down, a clean play. That was clean. And, oh, oh, we got an injury. Oh, we, we got, got a injury. player down on the field. Might be a shoulder. And that was Karan Klein with the reception attempt. With 36 seconds left to play, Covington will get the ball at the half. Rahway with the ball, and will try to make something happen here. They can get the stop if Rahway Gives up the goat here with time on the clock, and Covington have all their timeouts. Right. They this is going to be a bad time. It, it is, because if I'm not mistaken, who gets the ball at half? Covington gets the ball at half. If Covington can stop them here and give us something quick, they only scored in two, three plays their last drive. It wasn't. It had a minute left. It's forty. It's 36 seconds left. They took up 40, 20 seconds to score. 
if they can come back with that and get a turn turnover here, it's not going to look too good for Rawway. And second and ten here. Both, pardon me, both teams with only two timeouts remaining. Snow Tribe's best bet here is to try to score. Yeah. I wouldn't even bother trying to run out the clock. No. Uh, it, it, running out the clock will get you somewhere, but you've, you're you within your own 20. You're, you're, you're on the other side of your the 20-yard line. You're scoring. You're trying to score. And it's, it's all about do you trust Turner's arm or leg? Okay, you trust the snap the inside, trying to make it happen. Ball almost taken out. Ball's on the strip. We'll see who comes up with it. And it will remain okay. with the okay. Snow Tribe, but Seth okay. Chambers. Seth Chambers is a playmaker. He's trying to get the ball out of there because he knows how big a turnover here would be. And that was Darius Hype Pearson who scored a touchdown so far today. The clock. Check out even the careful watching of him just to see if you can grab it. You yep. see, he went straight for the ball. He let them set him up to go straight for the ball. He's a playmaker, A guys. talented performer here. Very much so. And, <laughs> and just setting up for a third down. Chambers reminds me of... Snow Tribe calling their second timeout. They'll have one timeout left. And it looks like they gave him the first down, so it'll be first and goal on the five-yard line. After the timeout, under center is Shane Turner. Big drive, very big drive for both teams. The snap, in trouble, thrown, and knocked Joker out of his hands! Runs it. Joker! John the Joker no, Kessler. No, 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 Joker. Hey, Joker. He's no, trying to say he no, caught it. Joker. No, no, don't blame anyone else. Uh, if, if it touches your hands, I need to see push ups. Don't be mad at him. He's going to owe, owe some cardio at halftime. Oh, yeah, he owes, though. No, no Joker. And it will be Joker second just goal. That. that was a drop. And trying to reset everything, getting everybody back into the huddle. But for John Kessler, that has got to. That is a. And he has no one to blame but himself. And when it's a five-point game, it's a one-score game, there's 26 seconds, and you have a team on the other side of you who have two timeouts. And, and, and the, yeah, but let's not get fancy. Just give it to Little Boat and let him score. Let's not get fancy here. Little Boat is great within 15 yards. Why, why are we wasting time? And he'll be set up to the right of Turner. Turner snaps it. He'll take it. Cuts inside and is stopped again. Runs right into Seth Chambers. All right. Listen, look how he looked at him. Stop playing with me, young man. You Seth, too small. Seth Chambers with more tackles than I have ex-wives, so it'll be <laughs> third and goal with 15 seconds. Definitely. And Definitely. And it will be third down here. And check, check out Chambers just watching the play. No one blocks him as per usual. And Snow Tribe will burn through their last timeout. Ah, Snow Tribe. Th this mm. means they have to throw it here, right? They have no timeouts. Clock is running. And it'll be, it'll be fourth down if they don't convert here. Now, them having to throw it, who is throwing the ball? And do you trust Little Boat? Okay, there we go. All right. Cause I'm, cause even they are then, loading up here. And it's, with okay, we know what's coming. Little oh. Boat. So for six, it has to be. La Dub setting up between him and Pedro. And they told La Dub to go pick up Chambers. It has to. But Chambers on the opposite side. He is on Pedro's side. The snap, and Pedro comes in, but there's a flag on the play. No, that touchdown will not count. And that one will probably be holding. And Batson. Running into discipline. the end zone. Ladies and gentlemen, discipline. And a false start call. On the Another offense. false start. And that's, that's the thing that has been hurting the Snow Tribe all day. Those little things in their in their own device setup. In their own. And let's take a look at the replay here. Oh, There's the false move. start. And then watch John Kessler. Hey, okay, Joker. Got oh, his legs in the air. Listen. As a lineman, if your legs uh, in the air, you did something wrong. When you get when you get put into the stirrups. <laughs> why? why? It's his legs in the air. He got he got he got OBG'd. Oh my goodness, this is nasty work. And they are moving this them is way back. Oh a 15 my yard goodness. penalty. And it'll be third and, and goal and on the, the 24. Start, 20 the yard start. penalty. A false, false start, start and, and a dead, dead ball, ball penalty. penalty. Okay. If you saw the false start, what happens is Lau, the bigger guy, he's quick but he leans into the anticipating the goal. And if they catch you leaning in, that's moving before the ball is snapped. They have to throw that. So that's just, a lot so, of yards to lose. So an advice to young football players, don't, don't lean, lean with it, don't lean rock with it. it. 
Yeah, it is. The snap, Turner with a lot of we time. Believe in Turner. Do we believe in Turner? He might believe in him, but he's trying to get inside the end zone. Stop, draws, send up for the tackle. Four oh, seconds okay, left. Okay, okay. And that will be the end of the Let's first of half. The end of that. And the Raleigh Show wow. Tribe denied at the door. Covington. Covington. Let's take a look at the replay here. What a what a defensive display there by the Very Covington good. Ice. Now, the only thing I can really see is that Seth Chambers is not really much of a coverage guy. But if he's there in the area, he's involved with almost every play. Oh, he hit him after the play. And that wobbled too, and yeah. just setting it up here. Because just, Seth Chambers was out of position. Yeah. He, that, that play shouldn't have even went. Yeah, that could have been an interception if Big Chambers was in a position. But Draws stepping up with that huge his tackle. Team, his team saw, his team doesn't believe that Turner has the arm to get it over that, yeah. that middle part of the field. So they all crash down and stop that. Well, at the end of the first half, it did not go the way the Rahway Snow Tribe wanted it. It didn't go the way we thought it was going to go down either. But we've got some close and contentious football. It is a five point at the half. We're back here on the A7FL Games of the Week. The Covington Heist taking on the Rahway Snow Tribe. No, it is not the Heist Man and pa Pablo the Snowman. It's Matt Ryan and Big Rob Fabian. We are here live in Asbury Park, New Jersey. And Rob, so far, the Covington Heist. I'm impressed. Yeah. And, I'm, I'm impressed. And the way they started the game, 
getting grinded down right, by right. by the new snow formation. Yeah, the new snow tribe formation, and right. even then, just the running game predicated off of Seth Batson. It was pretty big, a lot, very impressive. But you know what else was impressive? Yesterday, we crowned the second ever A7FL Florida champions, and let's. And let's take a look. You know what? We'll throw the highlights right now. Let's go to the sultry voice man who cut all the highlights <laughs> for this sh showdown between the Tampa Nightcrawlers and the Orlando Ghosts. Yo, yeah, yo, yo, tell me fuck my highlight up. I got you. I got you. On Saturday night, we had our A7FL Florida Division Championship, and things got started early from the Tampa Nightcrawlers as Marquise Williams gets the tutty from Bagway. Mark, one of his many touchdowns on Saturday afternoon in Orlando, setting the ghost in a 6 nothing deficit. 6 nothing Nightcrawlers. Bagway again with nothing but time, throwing this one deep downfield. Slip sliding to the house is number 21, Ray Chalk, making it 12 nothing for the Nightcrawlers. They get the two-point conversion, and then again, another one. Bagway receiving the touchdown this time, catching it right into the hip pocket, slip sliding right into the end zone to make it a three-score lead now for the Nightcrawlers, looking to win the second a7FL Florida Divisional Championship. And now Joey Bate looking to put a little bit of life into the Ghosts here, trying to not th have them fade off into the Phantom Zone as he'll go over 20 yards into the end zone to make it 20-6. to six. The Ghosts down but not out as we head into the second half of this showdown for the A7FL Florida Division Championship. Not great for the Ghosts, but there was a lot of football left in this one. And now we go to the start of the second half. And again, Bagway, Mark getting it to number 11. His fourth related touchdown of the afternoon. He'll get another one. But here we've got a big play in INT. A pick six going sideline to sideline and goal line to goal line to make the lead an insurmountable 50 to nothing. Shutting the door on the Orlando Ghosts, winning the Florida Championship, becoming the bridesmaid for the second straight season. But the Ghosts do not go quietly into the good night. Kevin Williams on the untimed down, the final play of the game, will not be defeated, will not be deterred. He will go from goal line to goal line and go out with a touchdown, making this one a beautiful extension there. The refs give it to him, even though number 10 is like, nah. But at this point, it was all over but the handshake line as the Tampa Nightcrawlers get their first A7FL Florida Division Championship defeating the Orlando Ghosts who had defeated the Tampa A team just a week ago here on the A7FL Games of the Week. Your final score from Tampa, the Nightcrawlers 50, the Ghosts 12 on our final game of the day on Friday. You saw something in there, Rob. You didn't like I'm a little, I feel like the Nightcrawlers are literally calling out BIC by doing that <laughs> celebration. BIC, you have 24 hours to respond. <laughs> well, when we return, we'll respond to the highlights and stats from the first half as the Tampa, pardon me, as the Tampa Nightcrawlers win in Florida. Right. We're going to see if the Covington Crush can win here in New Jersey. The Snow Tribe up, but it's only by five. We'll see it on the other side here on Stadium.
It is a beautiful day in the town that gave us Bruce Springsteen, the Jersey Shore, and Funnel Cake. It's Asbury Park, New Jersey. We're at Asbury Park Stadium. You are looking live as the Covington House Heist are down 14-9 to the Railway Snow Tribe. And let's talk about some of the stats really quick. When you take a look at the Snow Tribe, 126 yards rushing, Big Rob, 101 right. yards passing. Which, Turner. Which is very impressive, that passing stat. I wasn't expecting that no, with the way the me offense neither. was going today. And four for nine, under 50% completions for Shane Turner, who is under center so far today for the Snow Tribe, but one touchdown and 101 yards passing. Right. On the opposite side, Marshall for the heist. Ah, he Daryl Marshall, two for six, but 109 yards, one touchdown through, got about half of his yards on yeah, a 56-yard tutty. Yard to right, Chambers. 50, yeah, they, have, they only had two yards prior to that 56-yard yeah. rush. And right. Chambers, let's go. Let's take a look at some of the highlights here from the first half. And it starts off here with Turner Shane Turner with throwing it. Amazing... Oh no, 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 no! This is the stop. This is the stop before the half. Yeah. Which again, it's just showing you more of what Seth Chambers is doing. How he's the anchor. Seth Chambers seems to be the anchor on defense. And we see here Turner showcasing his skill set. Making something happen. Threw a pop fly right downfield into the Great hip catch pocket. By Karan Klein. And we see here Turner Turn snapping in, the ball and then just cutting right up field, finding some dynamic play here from both quarterbacks. Right, right, definitely. Um, again, I'm, I'm more impressed with the defensive play of um, Seth Chambers here, but I think this is the play where he gets his chest taken and, oh. right there by Lyle. Lyle is one of those guys, man. If he comes downhill, you see all that man? Yeah, he got concaved on that play and that and one right Seth, there. little boat doing what he does best. But let's uh, t let's not talk about let's come on now. the H Covington Heights without <laughs> talking about their great come defensive on, play. Man. Seth Chambers coming off the edge there. The anchor for this team. And Seth the, uh, Chambers again, right after doing that on defense, he comes on offense, holds the ball, ball like a loaf of bread, and just walks into the end zone. But he had the presence of mind to change, change. position. That's, that's a football player. So and football player. living in the moment, reveling it. Welcome to the A7FL, Seth Chambers. He's had a hell of a day great so far. Great contact, great tackle. He's meeting everyone. He's not afraid to make a hit. This kid is great. He's a great football player. He can play in New Jersey with no problem. Check out, check, check him out. Seth Chambers. Almost every play. Almost. 12 tackles for loss. 12 tackles today, two for loss, one Only sack. Only 12? Only 12? Oh, great hit Shout right out there. Great hit. Shout out to David Silverman. Our stats and information on the other side of the metaphorical glass. And look how he attacks the ball. Oh, this is the, oh, this uh, is Pearson's touchdown. Yeah. Darius Clean Hype touchdown. Pearson cleaning his way into the end zone. No hype, all action on that one. And that one could have been an INT. That's so questionable. Yeah. That's such a questionable. But, but you know what? He gets to rock like... himself to sleep, though. Hey, man. And this one here, again, wide Checked. open. Again, guess who's there? Right there with him. Stopping him right there. To, he got the first down, mm -hmm. but that was a battle the entire drive. The entire drive. It's, it's really looking like the Snow Tribe versus Seth Chambers right now. And, and Seth Chambers looks like he's doing a hell of a job. If Seth Chambers had half of a Seth Chambers on his team, the Snow Tribe couldn't get anything done. Great pass here by Turner. Great, even a better catch. And you see the frustration there from Anthony Boyko, who got got on that play. <laughs> And, and then we see this one, the play of the day so my, far. My goodness, by Marshall staying poised in the pocket. I was asking for Marshall to show up, and after I asked, he started doing this. That, that was, was a, a great pass, great catch. Look at that. 56 off yarder. the defenders and got busy. I'm very impressed with Marshall. And if I'm the Snow Tribe, I am looking to play prevent the rest of the game. And here he was the right touchdown. Back. Marshall, boom, oh. off of that hip check, clearing Ooh. the lane. He was not missing his flight. Uh, 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 look at look at that. And here's what this set up. Marshall just finding the rhythm, finding the rhyme, Snow finding a way to stay inside the line. And we'll, that was a big problem for the Snow Tribe on the return right. from the cheetah, Tyshawn Robinson. Snow Tribe does need to run a spy on that. But at the same time, 
if they end up running that spy and sacrificing maybe a double coverage alignment, you'll get a guy like Chambers wide open. And he might kill you too. He might kill you off the... And when we return, we'll see what Covington can do with the ball. They'll right. get the ball off the three-on-one throw off to start our second half. Will the heist make it to the knockout round or will the Snow Tribe survive? We'll find out in just a moment. 19 to 14 to score, but we've got 30 more minutes worth of football for you right here. It's the A7FL live on Stadium. I'm Matt Ryan, joined by Big Rob Fabian, and we have had an, an exciting and inciting Very, first half here at Asbury Ooh. Park Stadium in Asbury Park, New Jersey. As the Covington Heist will get the ball, they are down 19 to 14 to a very impressive Rawway Snow Tribe. Matt, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Coming into this game, I kind of had Snow Tribe as a clear-cut winner with the throw-off. Um, Dre Dixon will get it off the return. And Dixon cuts through one defender, but will get caught in the quicksand. I I had an idea of how this game was going to go. I said, hey, Heist is a new team. They don't know much. Snow Tribe can come here and bully, impose their will. But I have to say this has been one of the better games I've watched in this yeah. league. And these two teams are really fighting to not be knocked out. Today. No, this is this is playoff football. Both right. of these teams are playing playoff level football and it's what you need to see here in the A7F is what you get in the A7FL. The clock starting here at the start of the third quarter. The only time you will see the clock not run is under two minutes or at the end of a touchdown right. or a three on one throw off. So now Marshall has to show that same poise he showed at the end of the second half. Seth, um, Seth, his name is Seth. Chambers has to show that same grit he's been showing all game. And I have to beg the question, does he have the gas to continue that level of play, Chambers, on defense and on offense for the rest of the game? I think if they find a rhythm and a mm -hmm. cadence, because you've seen Chambers go from being on the line to being spelled. Right. And oh, you Chambers see is all out of the, off the field. Yeah, they, and they will hand it off. And oh, the quarterback will keep it. He will cut Marshall. up field. Listen. Marshall will get to the 44 Marshall's before being taken out. Marshall's with his confidence right now. He, he feels he's feeling the game out. He's understanding what he can and can't do. He's calling these quarterback runs. I don't think he's very fast, but he's getting it done. He's got, he's got, he's a younger guy with a, Big level of – like, he feels like he belongs here. Right. It's not a I need to feel myself out. Very much like Sterry Codrington last right. season. He's right. He's been here before. Right. He's played at a high level, whether it's in college or high school. And also, he's played up against championship-level teams like right. the A-team who made it to the Final Four last year. So he knows some level of competition. The yeah. body language from first quarter to now is completely different. 
I think he's acclimating himself, and there's a handoff, and there's a foul on the play. A flag will be dropped, and they will go back to the line. Was. Intended for Seth Chambers. I think he held the ball on too long on the, on the, you know, the exchange. Yeah. I, he held it too long. And the flag will be on the defense, offsides on the defense. My so it'll be, goodness. It'll be first and ten. How many penalties have they incurred? Like, this isn't cool. This is like the fifth penalty of the day for the Snow Tribe, and yeah. it has cost them. Fourth encroachment. And it was encroachment. And a five-yard penalty on the defense, which, again, this is their fourth penalty, and it gives – come on, guys, like, where's, yeah. where's the discipline at? And it will be first and ten after moving up the five yards. Now, what happens if Marshall decides to run that same play but this time give a great handoff? It could break trouble. open the defense, and you start to see the defense of the Snow Trap looking a little tired. They're looking They've had a little tired. Some, both teams have had to play some grindhouse defense. It will be first and ten. Chambers back in there, two wide receivers set. Three on the line, the toss to Chambers. They love this toss. Chambers cuts up field, and ever since they stopped throwing those screens on first down, they've been able to convert some yards. That's just a little bit, I mean, but they're gonna live and die by the toss because they, ha they can't get anything inside, but they need better blocking in order. Yeah, running a toss in this league is difficult. You, you have to have a quarterback with vision, have to have receivers that can block, an offensive line that can actually reach block, which as an offensive lineman, I can tell you that's one of my weak points. I had to figure out new ways to block people because it's very, it's very hard to block a guy who's five, three, four yards away from you yeah. to the side you're trying to go. You know, so and then on top of that, just the the limited personnel right, makes right. this game so much harder to create yeah, and establish. You can't hide. No, no, you can't play a Woody Hayes style offense in this league. Not you need all, to man. have a variety of tricks. You need to have a variety of setups. Seven on seven leaves you naked, like you're bare. Yeah. We see everything. Eleven on eleven, a few guys could hide in there, act like they're good, but you have to be good to play seven on seven. We can see it. Two wide receivers set. Dixon at the top of your field. He is in motion. He'll get the ball from the quarterback. He will cut up field on second down, and he will get a slight gain, get across the Rubicon. That is the 50-yard line, and it'll be third and about four. Can't say I'm impressed with the play calling. Um, they've been given an opportunity, and I'm hoping they can capitalize on it. And right now, the chunky yards, they're not, you know, they're, they're tough yards, but they're not impressive yards. It's very Ohio football. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. No it, pun intended, right? Yeah. It's very Ohio football. And just pushing ahead, pushing forward. And, they, and we've seen the best plays of the game from them are breaking off on these big rainbow yeah, passes. Yeah. We've seen it from both teams where they, they've they relied so much on the run that they lull the defense into a false sense of security. security right. And here on third and four, Marshall with his best receiver probably, Chambers, and Dixon set up with him. Dixon in the slot, Chambers off the throw. He pops this one. And this is caught. That's and good. that's Dixon getting the first that's down. That's looking like a first down. And again, that's a great throw, great catch. Great play to get those the necessary yards. You're not looking for a knockout. You're not looking for a strike. You're not looking for a score. You're looking for a first, and I'm, I'm fine with that. Yeah. I'm impressed with that. That's showing that he has a plan, and he's executing it. This is These are the plays they were running before the game started. Mm -hmm. And just those little pop-up plays. Practice plays. And right? a little bit of help from the defender, too, the for blocker, sure. 44. For sure. That is Peyton Hammond, Corey's son. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not really, but shout out not to Corey really. Hammond. Not really, shout out to Corey's son, <laughs> Peyton Hammond. He does have a son named Brady, though. He, he has a, he, there is a Brady. Uh, There's no, there, no Danny, Brady no Warfels, <laughs> no, no Crouches, no Couches, no Leafs. <laughs> the snap and the toss back. Flicker. Pop fly, oh gets it. Oh, oh and yeah, pass interference. Right. Yeah. And guess what? That's fine, too. The design, get the flag play, I love that, too. Aubrey Harris, who caught the conversion. I love that, too. And another play that they were setting up right. in practice before the start of and the game. Executing. The timing routes here and just precision and having two defenders right in his face and uh, not a great place to be for the... As that corner, man, that's such a rookie mistake. Not paying attention. Like, he's not even looking for where the ball was. He, just, he was just guarding. He was face guarding. Yeah. Didn't even look. And then the wide, wide receiver did exactly what he was supposed to do. Turn around. Huh. You know, <laughs> sell it. You got to sell that. My purse. <laughs> My purse. And Marshall, who wasn't initially the starting quarterback heading into From, today. Yeah, what I saw. It was a last-minute change. Hmm. And... A big opportunity for him. Marshall was the change was made on Friday night. Hey, Marshall, Marshall getting through big no. press up field. Listen to me when I say when you as a quarterback 
are running through defenders. Look at his body language compared to the first quarter. Yeah. This is a different kid. This is not, look at the smile, look at the cocky walk. He didn't walk in like that. <laughs> No, he did not walk in like he, that. He's got his swagger back. Yeah. And look at that block That's by a Chambers. Block. That's a great. He cleared out five yards for him, man. Marshall wanted the contact. And he's running two, three, four guys. And he gets up like, what? I'm here. Like, that's, that's a statement. He's making a statement. These young guys are really saying, hey, Ohio's here. For sure. And it will be second and five. The hand up. No, he'll keep Chambers, it again. Chambers, Chambers again. gets it a five. My God. Listen, Chambers is the anchor. He set the tone, and everyone else follows. Now, Marshall's up. If a third player wakes up, bye-bye, Snow Trial. You know how they call Jerome Bettis the bus? Marshall's a tank. Yeah, Marshall's a tank. What the heck is Chambers? Because that kid is different. He's an entire artillery. <laughs> Chambers is different. He's he's the kitchen sink. He, yeah, he's Chambers is different. I, I don't I don't look at look at the lead he's block. Setting up An again. Easy lead block. And guess what? If Chambers felt like it, he could have went and blocked. It was the a bit of a chip too. block too. It, it wasn't was. a big block. Just getting it under the shoulder. Look, look look at this. Look, full speed, full speed on everything. Bang! That's a great block. And if he was able to just time it a little earlier, he would. I think he was trying to go for the truck, because if he would have cut in, it would have been. Scored. It would have been six. He wants. He wants the contact. And, and he that's cuts inside. Oh, that's a touchdown. He that's believes touchdown. he can fly. He gets over the goal line, and it looks like they'll give Covington the touchdown. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, and watching, look at the smile on this team's face. Watching Covington go from what we saw first quarter. To me, warning these guys, don't let these kids wake up. They're sleepy. They They're might. Tired. They might. They They're got, up They now. got that shot of adrenaline. They yeah. got in there. They, they felt the hits. They know that Herf Jones ring and that, that trophy's that on the line. This is a playoff game. And that trophy is beautiful. Don't don't lose that trophy. No. Man, like, these kids are not the same kids from first quarter. I don't, they've went from boys to men. And Instantly. The, the Snow Tribe now on bended knee saying so <laughs> long uh, to yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, their D-line has completely collapsed. The D-line of the Snow Tribe. And it's is, because these are veteran mm. players, not fresh legs, and they're getting ground oh, down and a quick out to goodness. Aubrey Harris. The Snow Tribe's usually impressive D-line has disappeared. If you cannot and, and, and play, that's what happened against the BIC. That's exactly what happened. They, they found enough. Uh, they figured out uh, the timing. Man. That three to five seconds make all the difference. One, this, two, bang. And that's it. If you cannot play football with that same intensity all four quarters, you lost the game before it started. Or you can't find that reserve. You can't find that second level. And that's what separates a lot of the teams right. in the North Division, for that that top to that second. Can right. the Snow Tribe respond, though? When we return we'll here, see. We'll see. Uh, when we return on the games of the week, the Cowboy hat is out. <laughs> An urban Cowboy in Asbury. <laughs> Will we see the Snow Tribe make it hail? We'll find out on the other side here on this stadium. The Covington Heist have made the Cincinnati division a statement here this afternoon. And if oh, you want to make a statement to somebody you love, you want four lines of unlimited data for 100 bucks a month, Cricket Wireless Ohio is the official mobile provider of the A7FL and our Cincinnati division. The A7FL gives you unlimited moves, just like Cricket Wireless gives you unlimited data. Plus, there's a great selection of top brand phones and straightforward service plans. If you're in Cincinnati or anywhere else in the world, head to cricketwireless.com. 
job, and he placed a call. He reached out and called somebody. That's an angry man. <laughs> an angry human being, and That's he an angry, knocked his hat off. Listen, my boy, let's relax. That's an angry big fella. But, um, his nickname is now Koof for what he just knocked off another human being. Knocked his Koofy off. Look at, <laughs> slam! <laughs> Hit him with the onyx. Did you watch that versus, by the way? I did. How I was did. it? Terrible. I really? Turned, I turned Aww. it off so fast. That makes me sad. <laughs> I turned it off so fast. No one can beat. No one can beat Jada. No. At, at no, the at no. the locks versus dips at yeah, one. But I, and after that, everything is downhill. Like, yeah. It was imp It was fun, and that was it. That was peak. And, and, and this is basically Covington's Jada moment. They right have to now. go a cappella. You're going to hit me with the left. And, oh, there's oh. Chambers again. Oh, no, not oh, Chambers. No, not Chambers. That was Aubrey Harris. Before, the ha before this, this drive, I said if one more person, a third player, wakes up and gives half of what Chambers. I think we've seen two others. We've seen it with Harris, and then we saw it with the returner, the Dre returner, Dixon. Right. Dre Dixon. Dixon has been showing out They're here in the third. Guys. Yeah. Dixon, yeah, Dixon's Dixon, wake, yeah. Dixon and really Harris stay. have both put points on the board for Covington, who have a slight lead, their first lead of the afternoon, 21 to 19. We are over the halfway mark here in the third quarter. I'm Matt Ryan, joined by Big Rob Fabian at 4 o'clock. We've got the East Orange Renegades taking on the Patterson U and what might be a game of the year candidate, but we're seeing one right here, too. A right classic right being pitched by the Snow Tribe and the Covington Heist. It is a battle of attrition as the Snow Tribe pressed down feels the little boat. Looking to, looking to go out into international waters, but he will get docked. They're trying to throw Seth Chambers in the garbage. They launched him. They're, they're really just attacking him at this Can point. Can you, is it legal to yeet someone in the A7FL? I mean, it is. Just, pe pe just pay attention. The line is just walking these guys down. It's nothing but gritty, tough football. Right now, what's hurting the Snow Tribe the most is the undisciplined plays. The undi a guy's clear touchdown but you're so worried about the celebration. And that changed the, the entire that changed pace the of this game. That changed the game. Then Joker drops an easy touchdown. These are important things that when you look back and see why you're knocked out today, you can point to those situations specifically. And there's the run again Both by sides. Batson. He'll cut off the edge. He'll get up field, and they will get to He's around a, the 44. And because of how quick Covington can score, I know these look like these are very good. And I was about plays. to bring up the same point. Talk they can me, they can eat up. They can play time vampire all yeah, they, they want. want but once they've gotten inside the ten yard line, it has been a a it's, pick 'em. It's, it's tough, been a toss man. up. It's, it hasn't been easy. And I think having Boyko playing on the outside there, he's got right. speed. We've seen his speed today, but when he's going up against guys five to ten years older than him, right. more than likely. Like, Heavy, double his width, yeah, way like. heavier, <laughs> and understand the mechanics of this league more right, than he does. More, right. It's putting him at such a disadvantage. If you found a spot for him as a safety or as a pseudo gunner coming off of the blitz, maybe acting as a, a middle linebacker, it might be a different story. But Batson cutting up field. Batson staying alive. Dixon trying to get the ball out. But another first down. And Chambers is being iced out, ladies and gentlemen. It's just, it's a simple numbers game where's chambers let's put two three guys in the area that he could be or try to meet us and he'll never touch anybody chambers is iced out and also are they are they going a little less hard because you got marshall out there you got dixon out there no, marshall, you have they've been out there they've no but that's playing. the thing is like oh we know what's working now do we right. need to ease up there it is right there lyle number four drops a defensive lineman the nose guard he He's puts him on his butt and, and cleans cleans out the, the you know the plane and you see it the battle inside the trenches and that's that's pearson trying to hype it up and again tough yards i love tough yards i live for the let's run these guys down the field every play for the entire i live for that but it also runs your gas tank and, and that might be the problem, Covington knowing, okay, we're going to okay, give them five keep, yards here. Keep, keep, keep chipping yeah. away, chipping away, chipping away. You have The, the real work comes inside the 15-yard exactly. line. Exactly. Yeah. We'll see if they can keep up this pace, keep up this energy. This, so far, so good with the snow formation. This is the, the, are these the most points to score? I believe so. Dear Darius Pearson with the ball. 
Handoff. Pearson, he keeps it, trying to stay alive. Drums trying to pull it out. Second down. I remember, those, are some, first. Big, those are some big boys running down the field like that. And, and it's on the to... offense. It's on the snow oh, drive. Goodness. Holding snow on the offense at the 14-yard line. Come on. So it'll be second and 10. 301 left to play. Penalties on penalties That's on penalties. Much. It'll be Guys, second and eight, pardon me. Snow Tribe is showing a lot of undisciplined things today. I, I'm, I'm actually disappointed in how many penalties they're able to rack up. And this could be the reason why they have not been a perennial. They've not been either a perennial two playoff holding, team. Two false start, hands to the face, and then your gentleman stepping out of bounds. Yeah. Backwards, running to celebrate. And, and, but and, and that level of discipline, you've seen in the oh, Patterson, you've seen in the BIC, you've right. seen in the Renegades, you've seen it from the Heights today. A disciplined style of football in this league will yield you wins. Will it make you Very the true. most dominant team? No, Maybe but not, if, but you'll get the wins. And the snap. And now you're back to throwing it again. Pop fly, caught, brought in, touchdown. And Rawway will get the ball back. They get the touchdown, and they take the lead back here. And that's Karan Klein with the TD. But again, look how much energy, time it took for them to actually bring the ball down. I'm not. And I wouldn't be celebrating. I wouldn't be celebrating. That's my thing. It's like you guys are not. Safe. This is yeah, this safe. you've you've scored, you've alternated touchdowns, and whoever gets the ball last is gonna win, gonna in my win. opinion. And right now, it, that's fine. Listen, I, this is how I look at football. Whoever whoever starts with the ball is supposed to score. Yeah. If you get stopped, you are now at a disadvantage. You were supposed to score there. They're supposed to score back and, and, and you have up. the you have the implicit advantage. Covington is losing in the trenches and on a bat. On defense. On defense, they're losing in the trenches, but it's because of the bodies, the yeah. pure mass they're of just the boys on the other side. And it caught, oh, and they're okay. leaving the middle wide, wide open. open. Cham they're asking Chambers to do a lot. And that's Darius Pearson with the... Darius Pearson converting here, so with a six-point lead. Okay, fellas. A little, little chippy, little, little chippy. chippy. But we'll see on the other side of this if Covington, Dre Dixon, will set for the return. And you see it here, beautiful shot. Oh, leaning and, and a little heavy with that one. And to be honest, it's Dixon in the way of Chambers yeah. making that hit. And this one, the co the cross confusion there right. might be the thing that costs Covington. Yeah, yeah. With a shot in the playoffs to the wild card line on the line, will it be the uh, will it be the Covington heist? And that man right there, Daryl Marshall, getting into the end zone one more time and resetting things, or will the Snow Tribe bring the blizzard? We'll find out in a moment. <laughs> The A7FL is growing. This season we added five new divisions. Are you the next Jerry Jones, Mark Cuban, or are you the first you to bring to your city the A7FL? Learn how you can become an A7FL division owner at a7fl.com forward slash owners. That's a7fl.com forward slash owners. And it is 27 to 21 in the Snow Tribe in control of the Covington heist. I'm Matt Ryan, joined by Big Rob Fabian. And Rob, we have had a back and forth battle here Big between both of these teams. I'm just waiting to see if they can capitalize on, on, on time down by giving good yardage. What can Covington do here? It's their turn to score. Can they capitalize on it? And if they do score and go up, can they slow down Rawways? Giant offense. And I, it, it comes down to pure mass for Rawway. They are finding a way to just completely envelop the defense. And here comes an opportunity. 
for the Covington High Sun, an untimed down, but Dixon gets caught. And a big play and a big tackle there by number 18. As he gets the stop and it'll be first and 10 for the Covington Heist, who, who on their last drive really were impressive. Very, and I, I, I'm, I'm really hoping to see that again. All game, I'm, I've been nothing but impressed with Covington since the half. Just, and the second quarter even. I've been nothing but impressed with them. If they can keep up this level of play, I do have them winning at the end. I, I do have them edging it out. If it becomes a, a shootout, I have yeah. them edging it out. And the Snow Tribe taking their first time out of the half. A lot of personnel being switched on the Snow Tribe A right real now. questionable call in my opinion. Hey, I, I, so going crazy. to that timeout, I get it, but. No, why? No, I, I get, if you're if you're not set, you gotta call it, because then uh, your lead is tenuous. It's a six point lead. Does that come back to bite them? Uh, no, it's, quarter? it's. I wouldn't want to do it. I don't want to, if I was in that position, I would try to eat the five yards. Right. But at, at that point, Snow Tribe, hey, they they've they look at they got a lot of lean bodies out there. The snap cutting up field. That is Marshall. Marshall only getting a slight gain, and it will be second down. So what it looks like Snow Tribe did was increase their speed on defense to match those outside runs that Marshall and um, Chambers are trying to get off. A lot of shoving, a lot of pushing and shoving. But again, it's just, it's just the heat of the game. Playoff football. Playoff football. Playoff this, football. Is, this is knockout football. And this is knockout football. Turner, come on, Turner. Turner, a veteran in this league, trying to get inside the head of Josh Van Strein. And he doesn't, you don't want to play those games either because, again, it knocks you off your game. You and if you, and you don't want to, you don't want those words to come back and bite you. No, you don't, you don't. Because Turner's going to have a lot of egg on his face. So that's the, that's yeah. the, He's gonna have a lot of egg on his face if they don't come out with the win after doing this. You know, these are shenanigans. It'll be first and ten. Peyton Hammond uh, coming in to play peacemaker. Go ahead, Corey. You taught him well, Corey. <laughs> and he's in his own action. He's in his own uh, action today in Old Bridge, and once we get, uh, pardon me, in Delaware, and once we get. Scores from Abyssinio right, Stadium, right, we'll right. let you know, because the DC Buzz are playing the Hawks. That's a knockout game, too. Right. And if oh, I'm Old Bridge and I give up the GOAT against DC, man. I'm in a lot of trouble. And that's a rematch. Yeah. Mm. Love to New Jersey out there. Second and eight. 27 to 21, your score. And first and uh, second and eight. Two wide receiver, two wide receivers set the snap, the screen, intercepted, Pedro with the interception, the touchdown, Rowley. Big defensive play, good Pedro, that is impressive. And we saw, and Pedro earlier on defense, and I'm sorry, that was Hulk who got the swat, got but the swat. Pedro, Pedro on got this the one, interception. that could have changed the entire game just now. We don't know if Marshall, I don't, I haven't seen Marshall down. Can he come back from a play like that? Well, we've seen him down by three Let's scores. See. Now Pedro they're only watching. down by two. Great footwork, great And he place. telegraphed it to he Marshall, too telegraphed much. it. Way too much. We know that's your star player. Yeah. You got to give us something. You got to give us a different look. He didn't look Pedro off. Pedro just walked into it. And, guys, Pedro's like 5'2". If you're letting Pedro, like, he just, he threw a lolly. Pedro's a short guy. Yeah. He's not tall. It's not like he jumped out the gym to go get that. No. You put it somewhere, Pedro can get it. A good quarterback puts it somewhere only his player can get it. And Marshall might have to bite the bullet on that. Yeah, and now it's a 12-point lead for Rahway. Right. Covington looking on the out on the outside, looking in now of being one of the eight teams to make the national playoff. Trying to lock into their playoff spot here are the Snow Tribe. Trying to make it in the top eight. In trouble. Look who, Chase look down. Look Chambers looking for revenge. Look who's on him. Chambers. Chambers looks like he's waking up again, but we kind of needed that last, well, not last, but that wasn't his fault. So with 26 seconds left to go in the third quarter, and and Jerry, and once so again, Turner. Out of the gate. Look at the footwork. Never lost him, not once, even here. He, Walks he was his other teammate. And he was talking smack, telling the defenders, oh, you mad, you mad. You mad? We've seen this game turn have, on the dime too have, many times for anyone have. to feel comfortable. I've been part of a championship game where we were down 26 to 12. 26 to 12, and everybody thought it was over. And yeah. It was like fourth quarter. We, the game's not over till that clock reaches 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 
bunch of zeros after that. Yeah. It's over at the end of the fourth quarter. You can't sleep here because, again, Broadway takes a very long time to score. Covington doesn't. No, and we've seen them. They missed on the completion. They missed on the conversion. And they've missed a, a, almost all but two conversions so far today. And this is an untimed down. They burned a timeout already. Right. That timeout may have helped them set and up for I, that touchdown. I'm feeling like that timeout was probably the best thing they could have called. They added more speed to the D-line and created the, this opportunity for themselves. And it, what did it get them? An interception for a touchdown. But now an opportunity for Trey Dixon to redeem himself. A cannon. And that ball will get off the hands and go out of play. And it wasn't Dixon returning that time. Oh, that's Koof. That is, <laughs> that is Mick Koof Krul. <laughs> that's cool, man. That's cool. Mick Koof Krul. Well, Listen, that's He's Koof now. He's Koof. He's Koof. You are Koof. <laughs> We're not L.J. Smith. We're not the grand holders yeah, of the L A7FL listen, nickname booth. L.J., L.J., I see, I got to give him a name. It's my guy. <laughs> and this will be the end of the third quarter with 15 minutes left to decide this one. Who will make it to the other side of the A7FL playoffs? Who will find themselves in the National Elite Eight? It's a two-score lead for Rahway, but 15 minutes and a whole lot of football left on the other side. It's the A7FL on Stadium. It is the A7FL Games of the Week. The Covington Heist down 12. And we have a quarterback switch. Oh, my. Mm. An interesting pivot here. It looks like that is, that is Anthony Boyko, I believe, now under center. The snap, and he will keep false. it, but the false oh start. But goodness. sweet God. Oh, Chambers is out for blood. That is an angry young man. <laughs> oh, man. False start on he... Chambers coming down like that, but my goodness. Can we call him AYM now? AYM? Angry young man. Angry young man. And this is Boyko, who we saw in the warm-ups. Act as quarterback. The snap, and now he'll keep it. And and that's a replay of the last play. It's definitely a false start on, yeah. on Chambers. But man, to come down with that kind of force. And like, like you told me earlier, this is the quarterback that they saw warming up, that yeah. you guys saw warming up in the practice before the game. You said he had an arm? He, he's, he's, he, he can sling it. Yeah, show me something. Three on the line. Chambers set up to the right of Boyko. 
Chambers gets the ball. He will push through the pile and gain tough about yards, four. Tough yards, but to me, those are unnecessary. We can use Chambers in plenty of ways, but again, if you're trying to open up that pass, I can understand. They're that also, too. yeah, I think they're just trying to give the quarterback more space. Right. Back up, four yard so. gain. It'll be second and eleven. I mean, uh, I'm. I'm not easily swayed with the quarterback. I'm, I'm usually very critical of quarterbacks. I haven't played offensive line and really, those are the anchors of my team. I need my quarterback behind me, like literally, to be able to carry the team as I block for him. So yeah. I'm counting on him to do certain things. So right now, this guy, he has to show me something. I'm not sold on anyone until I can see it live. And Anthony Boyko, who we've seen play defense and also was the target of the first two plays of the first and second drive for Covington. Two wide receivers, 13.05 left to go. Clock is running here in the A7FL until the under two minute mark. There's the toss, and now Chambers will cut through, and he is just trying to get past the five, and he cannot go anywhere. He will lose a yard on that play. And it'll be third down, a gigantic faux pas. And a game of hot potato between both sides. Everybody a little burnt on that one. It'll be third and 12 with 12.37 left to play. So, I, I'm not a big fan of that play call. Uh, no, and you took the words right out of my mouth. The play call was trash. And so it's like, I'm, I'm trying to compare because that's all I can do. And right now, you don't look good. Even a little spin... Little spin through Marshall's back in. Thank good. Uh, I, don't I think they just needed to spell Marshall a few plays. I think so. That's I, fine. I, I think they just kind of needed him think, to. I don't think Marshall's going in at quarterback. You think he's going to play wide receiver or running he, back? He, he might. I, well, I his think. his natural position is wide receiver and cornerback. That's what's listed Marshall on his roster is page. A wide receiver right now, or is he on the line? No, he's set up. Yeah, he's he, set I believe up he's set up as a, as yep, a wide. set up as a wide receiver. Two wide receivers set. The snap, Boyko will keep it. Boyko with the little time, tipped up, intercepted, and this one is going to be a house call. Slip and slide, take it to the house, take it to the house. Covington in trouble. They won't give him the touchdown. They'll get him at the one-yard line. Guys, guys with the hanky-panky, like so much extra. Co that was a play Covington practiced a few times, uh, and they just mistimed it there. Let's see again. Just throwing it. He got hit hard. It could have been a roughing call if, if that was the call. And then you see the big man, 32, stopped on that play. A and we see a flag thrown. A flag and thrown. let's see, bang. Ooh. Yeah, that was bad. And then the tip that and then was. the interception by Rafael Florentino. Ooh. Holding, so a holding call on defense. We'll take that one out and it will be My third down. goodness, six? The Is this sixth, sixth penalty. penalty? And it just took a touchdown oh off the board. I'm not gonna lie to you, watching them like squander all these opportunities. This should be a 50 to nothing game. It could be a 50 ah, or 50 to 12. Like this turned the tide on at least two drives here. Right. Like you just you just it, wiped that all two, away. At l three touchdowns taken away if you count the the run back. Right. And you see and him stepping out of play. Um, Joker's drop the run back. This interception. My goodness. Two wide receivers set first and ten, a fresh set of downs. Oh, Back in is Marshall, Marshall! Bye, get the catch! Bye. That's Aubrey Harris! Bye, Aubrey bye. Harris! Make yourself famous, bye, young man! Bye. Slip, slide! That's a house call! And sir, welcome to Asbury Park! Show oh, you got goodness. the strength! Slip. Oh my goodness. Bring it out the big bats, 27-33, a lot of football left. Listen, that was impressive. <laughs> No flags. These guys have been playing discipline. Marshall sits in the pocket. Good blocks. Great catch. Makes the defenders bump into each other, and it's a house call. He he hit him with the three stooges. Listen, that's that's impressive. Check. Look at the poise. This Just is a great catch right over the middle. And Excuse a good throw, so too. Bang. In a, in a part of the field, no receiver wants to go. No receiver. And middle of the there. field, double coverage. And these are designed routes because they ran their corners into each other this is not this is, listen 
This is what they've been and practicing. This, and Covington, the, the level of coaching yeah. they have. Yeah, I'm seeing a different level here. This is scary to think how it's going to look what, in, in three, four seasons. What if Covington and the wow. Nightcrawlers make it to the Final Four? What if we oh find ourselves God. in a situation where, that, where oh. them – because those are the two teams that have been impressive the most right. out of the out of the newer divisions right. that we've seen so far. And at, at least in games of the week play, the Nightcrawlers in their game last night showing up against the Ghosts. Covington here down, but could see themselves under three points. Ooh. And a little too much zing on that ball. That one was I, all. I didn't know he even had it like that to zip it in like that. A little bit of the hot sauce on that one. Chambers not able to grab that one in time. But they have made this one a one-score one game score. here in Asbury. Rahway making mistakes like a like a husband in a bad marriage. Will it come back to bite him in the tuckus? We'll find out. Here's the replay again. When we My return, goodness. we will see if Rahway can recover from this house call. And it is the Covington Heist down 27 to 33. Will the defense of the Covington Heist hold up, or will they drop the bag? We'll find out after. After this. The Rahway Snow Tribe with the lead. They are about to get the ball, and it's 33 to 27, but it doesn't feel like that. Definitely the Covington doesn't. Heist have controlled the momentum of this game, and a few costly errors behind center from Daryl Marshall are the only thing standing between them and a tie ball game right, right now, Big Rob right. Fabian. And I'm, again, I'm very disappointed in the Snow Tribe's penalty amount. That can cost them, like, like we said, the Snow Tribe has left at least 18 points on the board. 18 points. One, one drop by Joker, a silly mistake from your um, returner, and then a holding call for an interception? Guys, come on, guys. That's 18 points. <laughs> and, and you see flashes of brilliance from this railway. They have, they have a really good understanding of how to diagnose this defense. Right. And Robinson, who gave up a chance at the at a shot of the end let's zone see, see. on a return. He gets through, tries, stops him, but keeps running. Andrew Wilson trying to get him. Andrew Wilson slips slide. He's not going to make the mistake the this time. The cheetah going down the field, seeing nothing but spots That's on the Covington Heights touchdown, Rahway. Touchdown. And it's back to a 12-point lead on the untimed down. And that can be a problem. Did he? I think he might have accidentally he knocked actually the wind out of his team. Yep. Wow. <laughs> so they still find a way to make a they, mistake. They step on rakes like their name sideshow Bob, but a beautiful run oh here. Oh my goodness. And when that's you've great. seen Robinson the amount of times you've had so far, that's the most cutting we've seen him do and all it, day it today. It wasn't even a blip blap or a hus hus. He's just slightly moving. I think the return. He hit him with the shot A. He, yeah, just the smooth operator. The smooth operator. And I think it's more on the return team. Yeah. Versus the returner. But here comes the the big opportunity to truly start shutting yeah, the door. This 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 is this is looking like a nail in the coffin here. Well, this there's 10:48 left to there's go. There's a lot of time, but we're talking a quick score turnover, quick score turnover. And. We haven't seen a lot of Chambers in the second half. They might have diagnosed They've him, but... They've iced Chambers out. They've iced him out. They've and we've seen players step up for Covington, but also Chambers might just be trying to get his energy back because we've seen him on some big blocks on offense. 
Oops, he Ooh. swats that ball, but it's picked up. Pedro, Pedro excuse stays me, sir. up, and he will get the one-point conversion. Wow. Pedro Makes showing it. his vet skills. Pedro used to tell me all the time when we were on the same team that he was great. I used to tell him <laughs> he was trash. He's showing me that he's great, and I believe him. It's 40 to 27. The Railway Snow Tribe answering the call on the three-on-one throw-off. Is this an opportunity for Covington to make something happen? You see that barely catching that one. That one was a wobbler. It was. And Mar Marshall just doesn't have enough to stop. Look at the size of Pedro Joker and the other offensive lineman. What was little Marshall going to do? Yeah, he got, he got bullied on. on that play. This is snow try formation is... Working. It's working. It's also it's working on the conversions, but when it's passing in the field, mm. you know, both teams have it's thrown under a 200 yards so far today. True. But, but <sighs> right, but but nobody's used to. I'm not used to Snow Tribe getting any type of positive yards. But in this snow formation that we laughed about before this game started, this is the most productive Snow Tribe has been all season. And for and the playoff spot is on the line here. This is the best football Rawways played all season long. I haven't seen them this good since they were spank town. And that is <clears throat> not necessarily a la a great last few years. <laughs> no, and you're starting to been. see some of the East Orange Renegades as they get ready for their four o'clock game. 10.48 left to play. It's an untimed down, and that one will be a violation. Do you see who they're throwing oh, the ball to? Oh, and they have to? put Seth Chambers out there, and he'll have to return it from a dead ball stop at the 25. But now Seth Chambers is returning the ball in the fourth quarter. I know people, why didn't they put him there early? Hey, he was doing everything and a lot. Yeah. Right now, game is literally on the line. They need their best player with the ball. This my might goodness. turn into a battle of return. This is scary. He no. is running with oh purpose. My oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. That was, that was going to be violent. That was going to be violent. That was going to be violent. They tripped him. That was, that was the smartest thing he could have yeah. done. 13, 13 tackles, tackles today. Tackles. One sack and a touchdown. My goodness. And he's staying on the field he's to play offense. He's not going anywhere. This, I remember when I was this young and I could play both sides of the ball. <laughs> and the older you get, you realize, oh man, do I have to play offense and defense? Nah, one position. You go from three, four positions to one. Imagine how dangerous he is once he finds his true position. Uh, I, I just want to be up here watching. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want we, to are, be, we are firmly yeah. ensconced in the bunker yeah, here. Yeah, I'm, I'm good here watching. Very <laughs> impressive showing, though. Win, lose, or draw with this kid, he is amazing. Yeah, and he he's built like an old school fullback. Right. He's got that, and it's more presence than anything in terms of body. That Mike right. Allstott kind of I'm gonna run down your throat. He has the height, the the width, but the speed and the strength to match all of yeah. it. Now let's see if Marshall and him can dial something up really quick. First and ten, three wide receivers set. With some time, throws a pop up caught. Who did he throw it to? He threw it to Chambers and Chambers. Friend. Case oh, close. Hustle. And he drives right into the there tackler, and he'll and get to the 20. Him that unhand he me. keeps going. Unhand me. How and much do you think he should pay for that ride? Oh, uh, five stars. It's and seven yards after the catch? Come on, man. Come on. This kid, this kid is showing Did you his Did he at worth. least get the Chargers phone on that ride? I don't know, man. He, I don't think he did. Maybe. It was a long ride. For, is that 20%? It was a long ride, and that's a great throw under pressure. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Hus, 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 hus. And if there was one more blocker there. That's it. That's him against five people. Watch Look here. At this. Cuts upfield, notices the defender. Yup. Should have ran through him. He was scared. They're scared of him. They look the scared. Snap on first and ten. In trouble. Throws a wobbler. Caught. Oh my. Now it's no incomplete. Catch. Incomplete. Great effort. I can the, say that. They are making effort. every play matter here. Forty Listen, to twenty-seven. Covington playing. I'm, Matt, I'm going to be very honest with you here. Covington can win or lose this game. I'm leaving this game as a Covington Heights fan. Really? I'm leaving this game as but a Covington Heights fan. But your favorite team is the Raleigh Stingers. Oh, my God. Here we go. <laughs> I'll be, I'm I don't sorry, the Silk City team. Animals. Yes, thank you. My You're goodness. a big Silk City Co Animals fan. Correction. I have their jersey right now. But, um... I, I can't I can't watch this game fully and not be impressed with how yeah, the heists have this is probably the best we've seen an expect quote unquote expansion, expansion team, team right in the games of the week so far this right. season and I've I've been here a while I've seen I've seen teams start off this slow and come back and really do damage to 
elite teams. Ooh, and that was a mistimed pass, and that will go out of play, and it will be third down. Baltimore looked like this the first time we played against them. PA looked like this the first time we played against them. They got a taste of it. They got a little blood in their mouth. They came back around, and they they didn't lose to any mid-tier teams. Then they came back again and started beating top division, top three, top four teams. It's just going to take a season or two, three seasons max. I, what, if, what if they win here today and they make it into the Elite Eight? Man. Who do you see... They can be a problem for a lot of teams. They can be a problem. Marshall under pressure. Marshall, Marshall. smothered, Whoa. covered, and sacked. And that's the Snow Tribe D-line that was here first quarter that I've been looking for. They completely dominated that offensive line just now. Hishon Fullwood with the sack, but we are in four-down territory, right. Rob. Right. Look at the swarm. Look at the swarm. Excuse me, sir. Out of the way. Pardon me. Excuse me. Way. Hands up. Hey, it's a lot going on. Come here. Come here. He, he needed a uh, he needed the jitterbug there. He needed the he needed the life alert. Yeah, Mar I don't think Marshall was expecting the rush that fast, that that strong. His D his O line got completely dominated on and, that play. And it is a fourth and fourth and a lot. And looking at this defense They're here, heavy again. It's like the big boys. Are back. But if the, it's fourth and 16, if and they're extending the field, they're extending the offense, three on the line. I mean, let's just and be you have Is Dixon out there? You, you have Dixon. Dixon at the top of your screen. You have Chambers set up to the right of Marshall. Okay. Chambers. I'm going to. Protecting. Marshall. Marshall it throws is. it towards the end zone. Oh, no. It was, it was Boyko out there and not Dixon, and that one will be a turnover. And, and if I'm being honest, ladies and gentlemen, that's the game. We, we got to know. The teams that we're watching, Rawway. You say you can say, take you say that, but minutes. we've seen Rawway completely eat it on three straight they plays, have, have, and Covington have three timeouts. Have. No, and you know what, Matt? I might be wrong there. I might be wrong. They can still lose it. Covington still has a chance. They definitely still have a chance. But if Rawway is positive in, in how they move forward and keeps that snow formation strong, six minutes will look like thirty seconds. <laughs> Right now, if you're the defensive coordinator for the Covington Heist and you're looking at the Snow Tribe formation, uh, what are you, knowing the tools you have on display, what are you throwing at them? What am I throwing at them? A lot of different blitz looks. Yeah. A lot. I, I'm, I'm trying to match size with size and in those little gaps, sending my best guy in there. And there's Seth Batson, the snap, the handoff. Batson will keep it. Batson trying to run through the defender. That's Andrew Wilson, and they will get him out of play, but the clock will continue to run here because the clock doesn't stop in the A7FL when the play, when the defender, when the runner goes out of play under until under two minutes in right. the game. Right. It'll be second and six after a four-yard gain and an unconventional offense. Very unconventional, but very impressive on the, on the day. I, I cannot. Will, will, the, will the Snow try be able to follow this up, though? Will they be able who, to follow this up next play? week? I, I if, if they win today, who do they play next week? Uh, the, that, the seeding is still being decided. Mm, so we, it's to be decided. So they probably are facing Florida or Vegas. The, oh, and running oh up goodness. field, and they La, will go La, out of play. La, I was looking to paint someone. The winner of this game will play the winner of the Las Vegas Force and the Santa Monica Vibe. That Ooh. game throws off at 2 p.m. Pacific time, and that will be 5 o'clock Eastern time. So by the time we go off the air, we might have an idea of the playoffs, and the Snow Tribe may have to go out to Vegas or California. <laughs> and I don't see anything wrong with that. I and might put on a Snow Tribe jersey for the trip. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to end up at the Circus Circus. I'm going to get a call. Matt, hey, Matt, help me now. <laughs> SOS. Oh. Why is there a carrier pigeon on my stoop? Oh, <laughs> Rob's at the tables again. Matt, they won't let me out. Oh, uh, we're going to have to. I need, I need a signed <laughs> BIC jersey. Someone get me a signed BIC jersey. Third and one. The snap, the little boom. Ooh. Wait, who just filled like that? My Batson goodness. getting oh, that's his not even hat That's knocked. Uncle B. That's Uncle B. That's I'm Uncle sorry. B. That's, that's Reggie Blocker. Running downfield. Oh my goodness! Somebody chose violence. Somebody filled in so nastily in there. Oh, we'll take a look at. The, let's take a look at the replay again. Oh my God! Bong! He, he he whiffed, but he got him down. Okay. Yeah. 
That was and a, I think that was listen, Boyko. Yeah, it might have been. Oh, no, that was Wilson. Okay. Wilson, he got, it looked like he got his bell rung there. He's taking he, a walk. He kind of whiffed. He didn't even, like, he hit him, but he didn't hit him he, as quick yeah. as he was coming down. He mistimed it. Draws stepping in now. And, and look, look at Snow Tribe. Eating, eating that clock. that clock. I think that's what they do best. They, they are clock vampires. Look at that. Every second is a bite. Look at that. And And just three... Three behind the line in motion. They cut to the right. Bats it. Oh, pardon me. That's Uncle Blocker. B. Uncle B again. But who but there needs you see him? Chambers. But at guys, what point do you call a timeout? Do you just wait till the two you minute wait mark? Wait till the two minute because at, at this point the snow tribe is melting that clock like a snowman in the summer. It, it's it's bad. Look at the clock disappear. I, I'm telling you, it feels like 30 seconds. I said six minutes. Yeah. Three four minutes ago. Yeah. It doesn't just, feel like it. It's just gonna keep going. Going, they hit him with that going. energizer. They did, man. And you have to – two minutes gives you that first free timeout, yeah. and then it's a different game after under two minutes. Two and a half minutes left to play, 40 to 27, your score. And, Rob, depth has been the depth, question of depth, this afternoon. Depth. Rahway's running game with the level of depth uh, that they've had has been, have made it – so much harder yeah. for Covington to fight back against. And just two real miscues. Right, right, right. Because we talked about all the mistakes Rahway made in this too, game. Too and many to even – they made way too many mistakes. And field is blocker, blocker again, getting tackled Seth, again. Seth Chambers with his 50,000 tackle on the day at, at this point. He, and we are at the two-minute warning with two minutes and six timeouts between each team. Will Rahway find a way to hold on, or can Covington turn back time? Can they find a way? We get an answer on the other side of this break. It's 40-27, to 27, Rahway in the lead. We are back here live. It is 27 to 40, some MVP level play today from members of both the Snow Tribe and the Heist. They are all battling for the same thing. The A7FL Championship was shot at their, their piece of $50,000. Ring provider for the first time ever producing A7FL MVP rings. Get more information on how you can be a champion in your own home, be the MVP of your family at herfjones.com. Herf Jones, champion, has a ring to it. Two minutes left to go here, and it is the Snow Tribe with the lead, first and ten. Both teams have all their timeouts, and Rahway have been time vampires here today. And there's the handoff, swapping in here, chewing up the clock, trying to get him out of bounds. No, oh staying goodness. in bounds. Oh An goodness. emphatic tackle and a really oh a questionable call oh to keep him in bounds, trying to get him out of play. And I believe that was Kenyatta Johnson running that one back. I mean, yeah. just, just, I mean it, it was a great, <laughs> it was a great run, but this German suplex you're gonna see here is definitely not what I thought it was, my goodness. And, and, and a, almost a fumble too, the right. ball came out, and Heist could have turned the tide really quickly could've there if they really had someone quick. at the bottom of that pile. Really quick, but I mean, the right big, now. But biggest problem is they kept, they tackled him inbounds. Inbounds, which is, and they either haven't burned them, the time out yeah, yet. It's either them choosing to let the game run out and let it just be over, which I can understand, or because this is victory formation right now. What if they're not calling in the timeout? This is I just got a first down. This is victory formation. And they they will lightly run up field, cutting up, getting the first down, and finally Going out of taking him out of play. That is number eight getting taken out, and it will be first and ten. Just continuing to push the ball up field. 
and a great effort so far today by by Rahway. They they have they have found themselves in a situation where they played themselves in and out of this game. The same thing with the Covington heist. But I'll, I'll, did, did the heist lose this game or did Rahway win it? Or did uh, I'll put it to you like this. You can't put the way Rawway played today, as impressive as the snow formation and all that has been, the mistakes that were made can't do that against playoff teams. Yeah, any team that has any a team. higher level of experience in this league. Or more than two elite guys. Yeah. You're in trouble. You're in trouble. And we've seen some elite level play here from Covington right. here today. They just have a lot of young talent who get pushed around. <laughs> oh. And and and, and there you see thirty nine bulldogging it. Houston Hines get oh, getting dropped there. Fifteen seconds and we will See the end of this game as the Rahway Snow Tribe will punch their ticket to the National Elite Eight after being a team that coming into today got hung up on them, the biggest deficit in A7FL history, playing completely different football I mean, you wouldn't here think this that afternoon. happened to them with the way they celebrate and trash talk. You wouldn't think, you know? So, again, congratulations to the Rahway Snow Tribe for winning the knockout Sunday game. Very impressed by the Covington heist. I personally don't think they should hang their heads off of, off the knockout loss. I think they should regroup, add two, three more stud linemen, a few more players, and they have a team that can and will compete for a championship in future seasons. I promise you that. And we will break down how we got to this and what the future will look like for the Rahway Snow Tribe as they punch their ticket to the A7FL National Playoffs for the first time in the modern era of the A7FL. We'll break it down after this on Stadium. I'm Matt Ryan, this is the A7FL Games of the Week, and at the end of this one today, the Covington Heights find themselves out of the A7FL playoffs after a valiant effort against the Rahway Snow Tribe, who got the win here today. 40 to 27 in their first win on games uh, of the week right. and punching their ticket to the a7fl national playoffs taking a look at the stat line here big rob one of the biggest stats that are standing out to me right now for that snow tribe 202 rushing yards 
works. And the story here is rushing the the snow trap rushing attack, but the pass game of the Covington Heist, it's big. Yards yeah, it's a solid, solid display here. But then you take a look at the discrepancy. Only 102 yards rushing from the Covington Heist. Right. A lot of that coming off of the work of Daryl Marshall, the right. the quarterback who was drawn into service today. Do you think if they take Boyko out earlier on the drive after the interception, that you find us in a much better situation for either team. I don't want Borko to drive home on this long Ohio ride thinking that his his offensive play is the reason why they lost today. It's it has a bit of the the inexperience of a team like that going against a team like this who's been here before, who understands the game. They pick and use Chambers too much. They keyed on Chambers too much mm -hmm. and got to be completely blind not to know that he's going to get the ball yeah. to put Pedro in the perfect position to get the interception that literally changed the game. And he's someone we might be wanting to speak with, but right. when we return here on the A7FL Games of the Week, we will go through the highlights of this and break down how the Snow Tribe of all teams hmm. have punched their ticket to the National Elite Eight playoffs, and we'll talk about who they might be playing right. on the other side of this one, but... The Snow Tribe with the win, 40-27. to We'll break down the highlights on how we got to the national playoffs in just a moment here on Stadium. flies when you're having fun here in the A7FL. I'm Matt Ryan, joined by Big Rob Fabian and Robert. Uh, so Robert and Fabian, we have seen the Railway Snow Tribe make it to the A7FL playoffs, and they will play the winner of the Santa Monica Vibe and the Las Vegas Force, the number one seed to come out of the West. And for the first time ever, we might time. see... <laughs> Uh, a Jersey oh, team fly out to the West to Coast Vegas, to, to, to play Coast Vegas to play. or mean, or Los Angeles. I'm, I'm pr I, I just want to see what happens. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy for them. And here's how the Snow Tribe got here right. <laughs> and just a devastating run. I want to see Daryl Marshall. Great block by Chambers. Yeah, Marshall and Chambers are going to be a huge combination in this league. I, I won't put them in the same combina a conversation as a Ashante and Codrington or Huff and like a small a baby version of that, right? Like, they're like the V1. It's like the poke. They're the Pichu of that evolution. <laughs> <laughs> and we're seeing them evolve here and just some mm -hmm. great timing routes here. I think if they get more as they get more experience yeah. and they play different